came tonight that you will change my life step into this situation give me a testimony it is within your power to do so hallelujah hallelujah I want you to really believe the Lord tonight the Bible says withhold not good from your brother when it is within your power to do so he says say not to him go come tomorrow if you have it now and it's within your capacity give it and then he says if you been evil know how to give good gifts how much with your will your heavenly father I want you to lift your voice and insist and say Lord is tonight my agreement with you is tonight why shift it when the anointing can come upon my life tonight why shift it when you can beautify my life tonight please pray it is within your power to lift my family it is within your power to open my eyes it is within your power Insist. 
no power stops me tonight no no there is there is grace there is capacity in the spirit please pray don't be tired this is part of the meeting when you give yourself holy your profiting will appear Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a song of Let's start from verse 2. Habakkuk was a scripture that just came to my spirit while we were worshipping. Verse 2. O Lord, I have heard of thy speech and was afraid. Listen carefully. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Verse 3. God came from Teman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. I wish we can get verse 4 in Amplify. It says, And his brightness was as the light. God bless you. Give us verse 4, please. Amplify, just verse 4. Let's read together if you are a believer in this place. One to read. And his brightness was like the sunlight. Rays streamed from his hands. And there in that light is the hiding place of his power. There is a place where the power of God hides. There is a place where the might of God. When a man accesses that dimension, he says there in that light that came out of his hand is the hiding place of his power please sit down if you can just for a few minutes i welcome every one of us inside outside those following us online to our april miracle service the lord bless you bless you in the name of jesus we're happy to have prophet jangfa with us bless you jangfa thank you so much hallelujah and I think scattered somewhere, Debbie should be somewhere, one of the old faces, I hope she's around, uh, Philip Chin also, there are a number of old faces, I honor you, God bless you and every man and woman of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will do a very quick work with us tonight, and um, he has begun that quick work, praise the Lord. There is a system in the dealings of God with man that until we know and understand, we will never as individuals and as a corporate people be able to enter into, I love, I love, you hear that word often here, the possibilities of God. You see, um, limitation is a very dangerous thing in life because it covers you from seeing what else is obtainable 
and the danger of limitation is that the moment you cannot see more your limitation becomes your reference are we together so when we talk about the possibilities of God it's an attempt to stretch us beyond the standard we have known about God beyond the things that we have seen you will only believe God to the limit of what you know or think he can do you cannot believe God beyond the level of your perception and your understanding of his ability my faith and your faith is hinged primarily on my perception of how mighty God is so the apex of his might as defined by my understanding is the limit of my faith are we together now you have to understand this so the difference between any two people is not necessarily their makeup it's not even the will of God it is the dimension of access they have had to the revelation of God access to the mysteries of the kingdom that will separate them into different dimensions the Bible says in that light was the hiding place of his power there is a relationship in the kingdom between light illumination and dominion and power not just dominion in talk the experience of walking in the power the authority and the glory of the kingdom in John chapter 1 verse 5 the Bible says and the light shines in darkness in fact I like it from verse 4 verse 4 says that in him was life listen carefully in him was life then it says that life was the light of men now this is a revelation I can dwell here all through that means when light enters you it changes to life it is light in the exterior but the moment it enters you it translates into life in him was life but when that life was revealed it became light unto men then he says that light has capacity to shine in darkness not discuss with darkness not negotiate with darkness and the bible says and the darkness comprehended it not i've shared it with us here and there again and again that dominion is not an impartation there is no special gift of dominion dominion is the resultant effect of your accurate comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom when you understand the systems of the kingdom and you have sustained grace from God to be able to apply your life will become nothing short of dominion it's not a a privy thing to a few people no there's no impartation for dominion dominion authority exercising kingdom authority is a product of understanding are we together let me tell you something I have discovered in my life by the grace of God in this ministry and around the lives of many great people including our fathers of faith that for any sustainable result in your life it must be built on understanding you can step into a reality based on your alignment with certain kingdom principles like the covenant of a man are we together the servant of elisha came and elisha used his covenant with god to open his eyes but the bible never said his eyes remain open you can step into certain possibilities even because of the kind of atmosphere you find yourself but for anything to be sustainable it must be backed up by understanding it must be backed up by illumination fear this thing we call fear is a spirit but the character of that spirit is such that it takes advantage of darkness when your life is barren of truth and illumination then it magnetizes that spirit and then it puts your life in fear and in bondage the bible says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime it's subject to bondage so much more than the miracles you will receive and we trust god 
that there be an outpouring in this place tonight I love to see the power of light over darkness it never bores me to see the victorious power of the Lord Jesus Christ at work in the midst of his people how an age-long situation can live overnight at the instance of a revealed word backed up you see the power is revealed through understanding it's not the activity doing spiritual things does not bring power it is understanding understanding is the key that connects the realm of the spirit and the problem in need of the touch of God understanding hallelujah knowledge is very important I'm saying this because we must cultivate a passion much more than receiving miracles much more than wanting impartation much more than a healing a deliverance we must cultivate an appetite not just for rema no no the word that must be understood and the end of understanding is when you know your role in the performance of that equation if you don't know your role you do not understand it the end of understanding is when my part of partnership is revealed to me no matter what you study no matter what you claim to know about God if you have not found your place what you ought to do to make it happen brothers and sisters you will never see the outstretched arm of God I am convinced that what we lack in our generation is not illumination no more than ever before there is no time in human history when information and truth from scripture is made available to people there are electronic devices there are different kinds of bible study works programs commentaries that have already been brought what people lack is understanding so it robs them of entering the experience of what they claim to know and it is dangerous to know a thing and lack the power of performance it is more frustrating it is better to be ignorant but that you know a truth you know a scripture you know that this is a possibility in God but you lack the understanding of how to make it manifest in your life hallelujah illumination light the difference between any two people in the kingdom yes we say it is grace yes we say it is anointing but remember the scripture says grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge there is a kind of knowledge not through any knowledge there is an exact understanding that delivers exact results you can know a dimension of God it will never mean you will see everything through the knowledge there is the knowledge that brings signs and wonders there is the knowledge that brings victory in certain areas there is the knowledge that brings prosperity and increase there is the knowledge that brings honor and influence there is the knowledge that multiplies the anointing so your appetites must be stretched with God to access the knowledge that is responsible for the outcome you desire many of us know what we want but we do not know what it takes to deliver the result this is where the challenge is if i call everyone at random here and i say stand up what do you want very few people will be in ignorance as to what they want someone will say i want a child another person will say i want to come out of poverty another person will say i want a supernatural anointing upon my life another person will say i want god to wipe my tears another song like our awesome worship team Sam, beautify my life another person will say lord take away shame and reproach from my life all these are possibilities that are within the context of the might of god but the key is there is the knowledge that will deliver that result you can have the knowledge that delivers to you the results to be free from barrenness but it will never prosper you you can have the knowledge that will give you a lot of money and financial prosperity but you will never carry the anointing to release supernatural possibilities to people you may never see the gift of the spirit work in your life it is important 
that we realize that light or the absence of it is the reason behind the challenges of many people gathered here tonight yes demon spirits yes principalities and powers but i've taught us here again and again that a stronghold is never a stronghold until there is a faulty mindset a stronghold is when spirits come and create fortification around a pattern of thinking and understanding it is that state that is capable of making the word of god of non-effect in the life of a man are we together now demons don't just veto you and act anyhow they thrive upon your ignorance jesus said satan cometh to me and does not find anything it is a possibility that satan comes meaning when satan comes his character is to search for what in your life reflects darkness because he is darkness so he finds an area of ignorance and that becomes his access point in your life no matter how much you are excelling in another area it is possible so this answers the question once and for all can a believer still be under the yoke of darkness absolutely yes absolutely yes on the strength of insufficient renewal in the in a dimension it will authorize the gates of hell to rubbish your life until light bails you out hallelujah first corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18 it has become a national anthem here by the way if you've not listened to the last two series that we've had i think that they are very phenomenal they are very epochal i challenge you especially for those of you um those of us online and those of us who are coming here for the first time please get it and listen are we together now spiritual intelligence and the mystery of exemption you have to listen to it hallelujah first corinthians did i do something wrong again four i think i wrote it down here let's look at it ephesians i'm sorry ephesians 4 18 it says having their understanding darkened having their understanding darkened listen then it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them so although you are a possessor remember our teaching the epistle of john this is the record it's a testimony it's a legal document that god has given us the way that divine life then he says that life is in his son so when you encounter the son you have the life but the bible says ignorance can alienate you from the experience of the possibilities that come with that life so i am a possessor of that life but it is possible i can die ss or as i am a possessor of that life but i can die barry i am a possessor of that life and i can never rise in certain superior dimensions of the anointing i am a possessor of that life but that life is released through knowledge through knowledge through knowledge never forget this there are many people who claim and boast that they are carrying the life of god but the experience of their lives do not show that such a possibility exists within them knowledge knowledge in fact i love the way i think it's isaiah 33 please give us isaiah 33 i hope i'm right um isaiah it should be help me holy spirit isaiah 33 uh, it should be five or six isaiah 33 five or six it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times that's right and wisdom and knowledge shall be what the stability when you find out that there is no dimension of stability in a man's life it is because there is no wisdom and there is no knowledge these two instruments in the spirit govern stability and establishment in the life of a man in the life of a people wisdom and knowledge hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the prophet was lamenting and it's a very interesting scripture because it starts saying my people my people so we're not talking of those alienated from the commonwealth of israel my people he says are destroyed not because of satan for lack of knowledge that means a believer can sustain an understanding and then alongside the grace that comes with that understanding and it will literally
paralyze the possibilities of Satan within your life and within your vicinity. There is such a reality in the spirit that a man can live free of the dominion of Satan and everything he represents. Hast thou considered my servant Job? And Satan testified that I came around him and I could not break that hedge. He said, is it not because you have set a hedge? God did not only do it to Job. Job knew the secrets that would compel that hedge to be there. He says, in the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle, that was the secret. Job knew what to do. Whilst his children went for party, he offered sacrifices in advance. Wisdom, understanding. He said, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. With me are riches, wealth and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. Let me tell you something. As powerful and mighty as God is, the ultimate key to confidence, the ultimate key to being mightily used by God, much more than just submitting to him, which is important, is that you must have a passion not for careless, random spiritual knowledge. Not everything spiritual is useful for the dimensions you seek to enter. I've given us an example. If I go to the market and my goal is to make fry, fried rice, if I see yam, will I buy it? Is yam bad? But it's not part of the ingredients required for what I desire. If I'm passing around and I see very red palm oil, very good one. Should I buy it? Well, I don't know whether they make fried rice with palm oil, but I don't think so. So I pass it. Is that true? Now, when your journey in the spirit becomes such that you are attracted by everything spiritual, two things will happen to you. Number one, you will be puffed up with knowledge that is random and cannot produce your results. Number two, your pace will be slowed down. You need to have a specific understanding. In this season of my life, I desire to rise in unction and grace. And you limit yourself to the supply of understanding that is responsible for the delivery of that result. There are books I've bought for up to two years. I've not read them. It's not spiritual carelessness. The dealings of God with me does not require me to touch those materials now. So they are there. They are useful but not needed in my work now. The times God will shift in that dimension, then I will pick up those books. Knowledge. Very quickly before I pray for you, I want to give you four areas that I believe every believer that wants to do mighty things through and in God in this season must be able to access. Write it down quickly. Number one, in the beginning, God any believer that wants to be mighty you want to walk in the anointing you must have a revelation of god you must know who god is you can know about me by reading my books but you have to meet me to know me and the bible tells us that jesus has come as the expression of the fullness of the image of god so as i study the life of jesus christ I have an understanding of who God is. You see, the Bible is a compendium of God revealed in different dimensions. So that as I study the Bible and as I trust the presence of the Holy Spirit to reveal the reality of Jesus to me, certain things about God. Listen, if you are coming for Koinonia right now and someone stops you by the road and says, Apostle said Koinonia will now hold in PZ. You're not going to listen to that person because that communication based on me that you know that communication is not consistent with how i will behave if there is a need to change venue we have a more intelligent system of communicating it is that true so because of your access to the knowledge of me you know what is not me is that true but if you are a visitor who is coming for the first time never seen me and someone stopped you and said look i think you need to reverse you will go in obedience but you are obeying a wrong information so it's not just obedience it has to be obedience to the right thing there are too many people who are obedient to wrong informations and then they say lord i'm obedient 
you must understand God and understanding Jesus Christ together with everything that redemption brings and together with every reality that comes today in Christ this is the foundation for the victory of a believer you must be able to know who God is what Jesus Christ represented while he walked on the earth and what he means to you now and the quality of life we have discussed it what the Bible calls eternal life remember I told you it's not eternal life everybody has eternal life everybody has everlasting life that rendition is the best of the translators eternal life is a possibility once you are born the parable of the rich fool and Lazarus they all left this realm to another dimension of living and they were all alive could speak so everyone has eternal life and then Zoe I told us let me just do a, a quick recap that Zoe is not just a life superior to the human life because there are many lives that are superior to the human life money alone can create a possibility in your life where the quality of your life becomes higher than that of an average human being you don't have to be born again just that quality are we true divination can open you up to certain possibilities in the spirit where your life becomes higher in quality than that of a human life but it's not eternal life it was john that described to us he said this life is a derivative of an encounter with a person if for any reason you find out that you are living in a higher dimension of living above the normal human life but is outside of an encounter with a person your life is higher than a human life but it is not the way and this life is in his son he that hath the son hath that life you must know this because that light that enters you is what becomes your life that's what immunes you so you are able to manifest possibilities that are not privy to the average human being then you will know that it's possible to walk in health it's not just a, a, an issue of i won't be sick uh -uh, it's not just jacking yourself in empty confusion confession no then you will know that you are able to rise above situations and circumstances not just by empty confession but an experience that is now your reality number two quickly the second dimension of knowledge that I think we need is the knowledge of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit very few people truly know the Holy Spirit many people know about him there are all kinds of theological exegesis about him you must know his person and you must know his ministry Jesus took out time in John 14 15 16 to introduce us to this personality called the Holy Spirit and the Bible makes us to understand that the success of Jesus was entirely because of the Spirit of God it's impossible to be mighty upon the earth ignoring him receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not knowing the Holy Spirit praying in tongues is not knowing the Holy Spirit walking in miracles is not knowing the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is a person you can know him you can understand his ministry what a joy your life will be a wonder when you know the Holy Spirit are we together you must know the Holy Spirit especially if you are in ministry listen I have learned by the grace of God and by experience that the absence of certain things can never be replaced by certain others oratory will never replace the absence of the holy spirit are we together going to school and reading well will never replace the person and the ministry of the holy spirit kneeling down and asking people to give you impartation will never replace a personal press for an encounter and a knowledge with the Holy Spirit miracles signs and wonders will never replace him you can fake power you can't fake his presence are we together you must press to know the Holy Spirit 
I study God's generals and every time I have an opportunity to look at materials that make reference to them one thing was common between them regardless of their limitations and their temperaments they really knew him and their knowledge of the spirit brought accuracy in their lives they did mighty things that we are blessed you must know the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is not a personality to be known by men of God and miracle workers no the Holy Spirit is not a personality that should be known by apostles prophets teachers evangelists pastors no the Holy Spirit is the key to living and when he the spirit of truth is come the Bible says he will guide you into all truth he will guide you hallelujah Holy Spirit can you pray one minute and say Holy Spirit reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me oh God you are my God and I will ever praise you Oh God, you are my God And I will ever serve you Oh God, you are my God And I will ever follow Lord, I will seek you in the morning I will learn to walk in your ways Four step, step by five step, step you lead me And I will follow you all of my life. That's where we are bankrupt, no direction We guess our lives and do everything And your lifetime is too small for error your lifetime is too small for repeated mistakes there must be a system in god for accuracy in ministry in family life your vocation whatever it is you cannot live your life just based on science there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but there is a personality for step by step you lead me i admit i'm ignorant but step by step you lead me and i will follow that's my part i won't be too ignorant i won't be too arrogant when he leads me i follow maybe a stupid instruction but i'm too young to question him he's the spirit of the father i trust him you trusted a lecturer who is less than 20 years older than you you trusted a man who called himself your father not more than 30 years older than you and here comes one who was in the beginning the first personality of the trinity revealed and he comes to hold your hands and he said look i took a very frail man called moses and i guided him brothers and sisters this thing is not just skill and talent alone is the foolishness of submission to a personality not a power not just an influence a person some of us have foolishly followed him for years with stupid instructions admitting our ignorance in the the midst of a proud world oh god you are my god just the same and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you i will seek you in the morning i will seek you in the morning and i will learn to walk in your way for step by step you lead me and i will follow all of my days from tonight step by step you lead you and i will follow you all of my days 
the Holy Spirit was with was with God when they were discussing your destiny it's a foolish thing to not need him in building it no if I was responsible for designing a curriculum and you ignore me when it comes to execution it is called pride I was in my mother's womb when he designed me I called you I ordained you so you walk with me and say Holy Spirit I don't know my way I don't know my way many people claim is their power and their might many people claim I understand church planting many people claim I know how to be a man of God but can you humble yourself and press for the knowledge of him the knowledge of the Holy Spirit will require time and it will require submission one thing I know about the Holy Ghost is he hates arrogance the Holy Spirit hates arrogance when he comes to you you are not colleagues he's not in you as a tenant he's in you as the landlord what will happen tonight brothers and sisters is credited to him it is him that reveals Jesus here look how many of us have wasted time listen to me I'm speaking to you there are many of us seated here you would have been working in your destiny already five years from now but this stubbornness of of not listening to him oh holy I, 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 all these church things no he told you go and serve in church by now certain things in your life would have gone ah. we wait on you Lord we wait on you I wait on you, Lord, we wait on you. I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you. I wait, I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. That's what I've done with my life. That's what we've done with Koinonia. Fill this temple with your presence. Hey, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait on you. Lord, we wait. Open up my destiny. You are the only one who can open up my destiny. You may have no iota of unction right now. Forget about anointing. Be foolish enough to hold him. Let him lead you. Let others go. Just walk with him. You may be behind, but brothers and sisters, there is an unction. He will put something upon your life that will shake the nations and take away the boastings of men. God is never too slow with men. Never too slow. If he's the one that kept you, know you are faster, faster than anything you can imagine. Faster. There are many arrogant pastors claiming that they want to do ministry, but they ignore him. They like human connection, but they leave him alone. I will never forget. Years ago, the spirit of God will keep me and said son never try to rush anything just walk with me just walk with me like he's telling someone now don't rush your life i know you think everybody has gone ahead of you don't rush that marriage don't rush that thing walk with him one day with him will cover 10 years of mistakes walk with him apostle i have no job just walk with him just walk with him if you were working five years ago all your salary put together would not be more than six million walk with him Aish. the holy
Holy Spirit. Fortunately, from next week, I'm starting a series. The Lord has allowed me to take a series. We are taking a series on the Holy Spirit. A complete, I will share with you very deep things that I've not shared with many people. The Holy Spirit. You ignore him as a businessman because you believe you are intelligent. I went to Harvard. You ignore him as a father because you think I'm not a small child. Hi. Will I ever be able to leave him? I know you are looking at me. It's because I'm the, I'm the part of the deal that is visible. But behind me, I'm not too smart to produce the results that you see. I'm not ashamed of it. Oh. There is one who is mighty. Mighty. There is an infinite wisdom behind everything you see. If it is the Lord's doing, remember, then it must be marvelous. If it's a man's doing, then it is natural, scientific. But the moment it becomes marvelous, it is the Lord's doing. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Hey. You are marvelous, yeah. value is defined by scarcity when you study developmental economics value is defined by what scarcity the ability of a thing to not be available everywhere the most scarce thing is whatever cannot be found on earth that's what he gives you as your reward anointing is not something you get just by fasting anointing is God's reward for trusting him for working with me I give you something that money cannot buy for walking with me I give you something that builds you out of shame and inferiority I know you came from a background where nobody knew you and you were foolish enough to walk with me then I give you an unction they may criticize you but you don't deny proofs brothers and sisters no sir I'm trusting that God will make someone's life marvelous. The key, listen, the key is not running around. The key is staying. Martha, you are worried and offended about many things. But one thing is needful. Oh God, I should have had five children now. Don't you know he can give you one child that is like a nation? Oh God, I've been crying about that job. When we talk about intimacy with God, many busy people think it's a waste of time. No, no, no. Look, I teach us some. No. No. If I followed that route, I would have been a failure today. A big failure. I'm not ashamed. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work in me. You are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit. Ah. How do you stand and look at someone with a growth and take away that growth? Just like that? How do you look at someone who is dead? and bring the person back to life there are people here now with situations that doctors have written you off even a charm cannot solve it you need a commodity that is not available in the earth i told you the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference in a few minutes from now 10 years problems will just leave just like that no, 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 no. That's what happens when you value him. That's what happens. That's what happens. Listen, when you honor a man of God, you don't just honor a body.
you honor the sacrifice the sacrifice of alignment that has caused that man to be able to hold certain dimensions of possibility listen to me all men are not equal no sir it's, it's a very harsh statement but it's the truth we are equal in Christ but our sacrifices and the election of grace has separated men to cadres based on the possibilities they can host ignoring that reality will be to the doom of a man the Holy Spirit we are going to begin to pray but I, 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 I just four things the Holy Spirit you don't know him you are in trouble you will be faced by too many things that your age cannot solve you didn't study everything you had a degree in an area having a degree in engineering or in medicine is not having a degree in wisdom no sir that information is too small to define the quality of your life ministry you need him you want to succeed in life you don't just need information you need a person Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. It's grace and glory. I trust that God will initiate people into that dimension of grace, of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. The Holy Spirit is speaking to me and he's saying there are seven people here right now that he wants to call, like a call, into intimacy seven people seven people seven people shalabran is kala shabras kele prahas call your people oh god san initiation into a dimension of intimacy the sister outside for he will be real to you real to you by his spirit this is not an issue of jamboree it's not an issue of feeling anointed it's walking with a person it will make your life a wonder a wonder a wonder he will make your life a wonder he will not just give you anointing he will walk with you Walk with you. So you become an effulgence of that grace. Then you can say that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving me your son and living your spirit your work in my life is done I thank you oh my father for giving be your son and lead your spirit your word on earth please sit down if you can the third thing that you must know is you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom please I want you to be very sensitive we'll soon arise to pray sensitive ah, I just saw something jumping out of a lady jumping out of a lady let it be the end of it let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it.
forever faithful towards me. You'll always provide for me. Praise your mercy towards me. Praise your way. allow the Holy Spirit flow something is happening now the Lord is showing me a map you know this happens and I'm seeing Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna right now the anointing is touching Southern Kaduna people Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit you're from that place an unction an unction I see a map in the spirit Southern Kaduna. Let the hand of God step into that dimension. It's not a miracle. It's a sign and wonder. It's a demonstration of a dimension of the spirit. Everyone from Southern Kaduna comes under the influence of this grace. Southern Kaduna. Shabrakatos kelabrande katai. Leketekos sotopadia. Lift them, oh God. I hear my spirit lifting. 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 He's raising you raising you by his spirit raising you there is an unction that makes this possible raising you by his spirit i hope i'll be able to finish this the mysteries of the kingdom that's the third thing that you must seek to know not just the word of god not just Rema. The mysteries. There is a lady in overflow. Three. One is here. Two is the one by the road. Three is the one by the empty land. There is a lady overflow. Three. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon her. Please, I want, I want her to come. Overflow. Three. I'm seeing like an arrow. Right from this building. Right down there. Please sit down. Let's hurry up so that we can do a quick walk. There are so many people. You must access the mysteries of the kingdom. Everybody say mysteries. A mystery is a secret code of operation. The kingdom of God operates based on systems. And you see, these mysteries contain in them the revelations of God. The revelations of God alongside the dimensions of his power. I've taught us here that there are two dimensions of God's power. The first dimension of God's power is enshrined in mysteries and principles. The second dimension of God's power is enshrined in a relationship. Two dimensions of God's power. So you don't have to be born again to experience the first dimension. The moment a principle is consistent with the character of God, it will release a dimension of the power of God like tithing like sowing and reaping like being responsible like mentorship all of these are principles in the kingdom that are backed up by god's own character you must access the principles of the kingdom therein lies the key to your dominion it is a terrible thing to be in the face of life and not know what to do you must know what to engage for the outcomes you desire Can you tell me you understand the mystery that governs restoration? You know restoration is a possibility in the kingdom. But what is the code of operation that is responsible for releasing that dimension of possibility? Because the Bible lets us know that both the years and even substances that a man loses can come back. But do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make that possible? Are we together? Do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make a sick person healthy? 
Yes, you know that divine healing is a possibility. But what controls it? Laying on of hands? No. No. Laying on of hands is just a channel. The inner workings is the spiritual understanding that backs that. Are we together now? You have to understand. The power of God is released through light. Remember the scripture Habakkuk. There was the hiding place of his power. Are we together? When you understand that, you don't have to lay hands on men to heal them. It doesn't even have to be a miracle service. The very understanding you have will respond to a man's need. The same way if I stand with you and I have say tuberculosis you're a doctor doctor if i have tuberculosis and you stand near me must i believe in you to receive it no listen to me carefully are we together now i'm standing close to you it vetoes whether i agree with you i can even be insulting you but that's none of the business of the tuberculosis once there is proximity it will enter you you will live angry but you must receive it so if I can transfer sickness, why can I not transfer health? Are you seeing that now? That means I can stand close to you and transfer something from me to you. Life. Being the light of men. You see that? That's the concept of whatsoever is born of God. Not whosoever. Whatsoever is born of God can overcome not by jacking yourself and understanding grants you access to that dimension in the spirit where you can walk in it so you can come with a challenge you can come with a sickness like some of you are here now trusting God all kinds of impossible situations they've told you it cannot be solved they are right based on their understanding this is a doctor they are not wrong based on their understanding but God's God's manifold wisdom introduces possibilities you see he says with God with God watch this I've taught you alone it is impossible but with God with God alone I cannot call but with my phone with in partnership with God all things all things all things are possible i want you to look at the situation you came here with for the last time tonight because in the name of the lord god of heaven it will go hmm. my assignment tonight is to bring it face to face with the power that created the universe not the power that governs nigeria not the power that governs un the power that created the heavens and the earth for he upholds all things by the word of his power number three that's it there mysteries so number one you must know God number two that's redemption and everything that concerns God in the person of Jesus number two you must understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit the third thing you must have access to the word you must crave for accurate understanding number four this is a mystery I believe that has been known by very few and I truly believe with all my heart that is one of the things that God has anointed me to reveal is the mystery of the body the fourth thing you must know if you want to excel is you must understand the mystery of the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ the body of Christ is not just people the body of Christ many people say the body of Christ is not just a church there are people the body of Christ is not people the body of Christ is a strategy the only strategy capable of birthing the purposes of God is called Ecclesia the body of Christ the body of Christ is not a people it's a strategy that's why he said I will build it I will build it he didn't say I will make it I will build it like a formula like a plan and I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell will not prevail against it. 
there is a formation that the body of Christ is built it is so formidable the gate of hell can only touch members not the body the body was built by a system that cannot be touched by the gate of hell are we together never forget this many people have been robbed of the full dimension of the power of God first Corinthians 11 verse 30 remember for this cause many are weak many are sickly it is say for these causes there is only one reason why people are not able to rise to represent the fullness of God he said for this cause many are weak limited for this cause many are sickly and for this cause many sleep when was the last time you went for funeral and they told you somebody died because he did not discern the body that's what killed him please pay attention get my teachings discerning the body that whole series you have to listen if you are in ministry here or you are a church leader a deacon you have to listen to it if not you will never rise a body has thou prepared for me it was prepared to be used a formidable strategy that beats hell hands down it's called the body of Christ everything is available in the body listen carefully so if it is not available in your life it is available in the body you have to learn that any possibility my life is not manifesting does not define the possibility of God it is only the possibility of my experience but that reality is available are we together now yes son of man can these bones live and Ezekiel said this is not a possibility within my frame of reality he says let me show you the body the body this body is a mystery it was built with a formula Christ being the chief cornerstone immediately after Christ two strange ministries the apostolic and the prophetic then the building rises you must follow that formula to be formidable it is the building of the body so when you see a man telling you you don't need any man in your life don't depend on any man it's only God they are sincere in that they are trying to balance human worship but that's a destructive revelation that will kill you because please listen to my message I'm just doing a quick recap because I'm telling you the things to study we'll begin to pray listen carefully I told you that there are mantles and there are systems remember the teaching yes a system represents a covenant with God that releases a dimension of his possibility within the dispensation of that civilization it's called a system so in every dispensation there is a way and manner God wants to be known and the way he advances that knowledge of him is through covenant your relationship with God your spiritual growth is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant so when God wants to release a dimension of him to a generation he finds a man listen he enters a covenant with that man that for as long as that man is alive he represents the spiritual system for releasing that possibility to that dispensation no one alive in that dispensation will taste of that dimension of God without believing or in alignment to that system this is how the kingdom is Abraham represents the system of the blessing the journey of a believer's blessing starts from him system are we together now Elijah represents God's system of purifying and preparing men for revival Elijah is not a man Elijah is a system I've taught you this the first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was seen in Noah Elijah always precedes the great and terrible day of the Lord the moment there is a visitation upon a people Elijah must come that's why Elijah is still alive God's apostolic and prophetic system that prepares men for revival for the move of God is called Elijah is a system the man Elijah died he's simply a man named after the system the system continues the Antichrist is a system not just a person you see that Peter a system that represents faith 
systems on earth today there are men who are not just human beings but systems when you trace the ministry of the holy spirit it can start from anywhere you choose upon the earth today right now it will end with Benny Hinn. you see that Benny Hinn is not carrying a mantle he's a system he represents that possibility no one will enter into the healing ministry without honoring what he represents to the body this is called the mystery of discerning the body Kenneth Copeland today represents God's system of faith and prosperity start from any point in the world you will start moving from mantle to mantle grace to grace and it will land back in him there are many systems like that you will never get this through prayer and fasting no matter how you pray God will lead you to those people he will give you encounters but he will lead you there is a system I have provided it is your alignment with that system that will produce those possibilities how much of the body do you know imagine what would have happened into your life now if you could discern the body discerning the body is different from destiny helpers destiny helpers are not systems destiny helpers they may not even be born again they are just people that God anoints to help you get to your destiny there are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial he says even among the stars one different from another in glory not in shape in glory hallelujah praise the lord if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been healed since if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been blessed since many people want to be rich but they criticize those who represent the systems that deliver that possibility there is no amount of prayer and fasting that will bring you into that possibility because when you scorn the grace that represents that reality you authorize that door to close it only opens to honor not even seats honor if your seat sowing is a communication of that honor then it opens are you seeing that now? I can't criticize Papa Ia Deboy and Bishop Oyedeko and one crowds and multitudes. It's impossible. Carry posters everywhere. It will not happen. There is a system. This is not publicity. It's a spiritual reality. So in honor of what they represent, I am authorized to access that reality. That's why you are here tonight. Let me tell you something. Listen carefully. You see this thing you call koinonia? Koinonia is not a ministry. Koinonia is a system. You have to believe this. It's a system. It's not a movement. It's not a fellowship. It's not a group. It's a system. It's a system that has become a portal to release certain possibilities of God. I, I want you to be very hopeful. So that when you come you don't have to be afraid there is something about the atmosphere so no matter how far you are you have come to mount zion certain things happen this is not just some human bragging a man of god trying to shine his ministry no tonight you're standing face to face with possibilities that are contained in God please listen to me you're standing face to face with a reality that you now possess that can change your ministry your business your family is standing face to face with a challenge and what you're about to watch within the next few minutes is what I call the dominion power of light over darkness the invincibility of the wisdom and the might and the power of God over darkness it will happen at the speed of light converting your prayer request to a testimony it's not trying to believe a reality here and now hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done 
Hello, Kim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, Kim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be to make an altar call quickly right now everyone stand there are people here overflow one two three following us online in this place right now the bible says this life is in his son you don't hear about the son and receive life you meet the son there are people standing here men and women scattered around you are a pastor leader deacon gentleman lady old young rich poor regardless of your status jesus said ye must be born again there are people here who have not met jesus we have to do this very fast because there will be such an outpouring of the holy spirit in this place you are here inside and outside you have heard what i said and whilst i was speaking the spirit of god the one we so honor was beginning to minister to you that you must make your ways right with God and then you've been here and for some reason you've been one leg in and one leg out loved God was on fire but different things happened somewhere around your life and you're here probably standing inside and outside and wondering man of God can I join them most welcome I want to count one to five and um, now this is how we do it I want you to come the first sets of people can come out when they come and here is full then all the others that come will just stand at their various overflows just close to your projector but I want to count one to five and I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain right now one quickly quickly run to Jesus from the depth of your heart you can keep standing you don't have to lie down or kneel down God bless you you don't have to kneel down, madam. You can stand. Quickly. Two. Don't think about it. Run to Jesus. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. 
man of God I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not join them quickly join them quickly I remember coming out for altar call one day but right now I'm not sure no if you are not sure you have to come out when a woman is pregnant she knows you are not sure join them something is wrong with what happened to you three are you coming apostle I'm trying to come out but my neighbor is stopping me we rebuke that spirit trying to stop you come out come to Jesus Jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men I will be ashamed of you before my father let this be the beginning of the miracle service for you I think we have enough people inside now every other person that comes just direct them to their various overflows outside those coming from outside you can wait there now in every moment I'm away Lord have your way Lord have your way hallelujah madam look at me you you love Jesus Christ come I'm seeing you you are not working well what's wrong with you what's wrong with her who brought her because I looked at you and I saw you limping and then I saw in the realm of the spirit severe pain come what's wrong with you from where are you program so she now told me that I should come and attend the program so For I have diabetes and ulcer and my back pain here from the back here down to my leg everything yes I'm feeling the pain very well that is why she asked me to come and do the program with you people here so that is why I came here mommy look at me every one of them you heard what I said everyone will leave you here and you'll go back to Abuja Amen. Amen. you believe that yes of course if it doesn't work your sister will not ask you to come hallelujah I'm going to lead you people to pray join them to pray we're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ and all that devil will go the ultimate cure is not the prayer for healing the ultimate cure is Jesus a man was brought to Jesus crippled and he says thy sins be forgiven and people say ah what is this and Jesus said which is easier hi that means to be healed is easier than to be saved so it's not as easy it's not just recitation are we together mama I'll pray for you go back and join them those of you standing here the overflow lift your right hand and sincerely you are not reciting a point from the depth of your heart I want you to say this after me say Lord Jesus no, some of you are crying but don't worry Jesus sees your tears say Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me and tonight I receive your life I receive your grace I receive your spirit I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus victory is given to me over sin over the flesh and over the world in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the power of sin the power of the flesh and the world over you is broken right now I declare your sins forgiven I declare that the life of God is at work in you beginning from today the Lord transforms your life by his spirit in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to do something for me very quickly please cooperate with all the people um, whether outside any of the overflows there is a gentleman waving his hand some um, of the uh, ushers there I want you to just follow them quietly and then give them your correct details very quickly this is so that we'll follow you up and then we'll get to see you so do that very very quickly very quickly madam I will pray for you you go and write your name and come back while we are waiting for them please make sure we are going to be very fast you see that our time is gone so it's going to be a very quick walk very quick walk we're going straight to the business of the night 
and I want you to believe it doesn't take time it only takes God it doesn't take time it only takes God very very quickly very very quickly we're going to trust the Lord to please ushers coordinate them very quickly and uh, let's have them back because we want to pray now are we together everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please be serious in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare that every spirit every force every influence standing against God's word over my life I declare that you are under judgment tonight lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala bras kada baladia. Shabratas kala brato shobrige de balada balada ba. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one until there is total victory don't let the challenge don't let the challenge limit you take your eyes away from it and pray are you praying inside and outside Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one. Lift your hands, everyone. Just lift your hands and be silent. Such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Lift your hands and just be silent. Please. I'm seeing two numbers, five and one. And the Lord is saying there are 51 people here. 51 people. He's bringing massive deliverance to their families. I want you to bring them out 51 people don't shout don't do nothing just keep your hands the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands and the power of God that unction for deliverance will move like wildfire all through the overflows right now I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve right now I release the ministry of angels Mighty deliverance right now. Bring them out. Shalabrakataya. Break it to Shubrataka Labraska Labriata. Shabraskata Brakatele Katia Labash. So break it Ali Braska Bariata. Embrekoto Shoto Pareketa. The 
fire of God is visiting individuals for their families. I see fire burning. That's what I'm seeing. Bring them out. Just keep your hands lifted. The angel of his presence moving inside and outside. Moving inside and outside. Please quickly, let's have them. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty in God. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Keep your hands lifted. Malekete pekete lakaya. Ay 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 ay. Mighty on your throne. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. Help that lady, please. You are mighty on your throne. Break forth. Down fountains of the deep and with Kadosh, keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence. Right now, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Mateketa. I put the word of God upon this prophecy in the name of Jesus I release upon it the power to perform those influences in the name of Jesus I release judgment 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 upon every strange influence limiting the life of God's people Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep at us. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Jesus, I'm seeing gates, gates with chains. One shout is what will bring that gate down. Are you ready? Just a shout of the name of Jesus. One, two, three. I open those gates. The gates must open. Tonight is a miracle service. I prophesy the two lift gates be open. The two lift gates. Many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, I see gates, gates of destinies, gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft, gates over families, no progress, no results. I come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Listen. Listen to me. 
a gate is what gives a man access access into a place access out of a place the bible says to open the doors of prison there are men who are moving but they are under prison there's nothing hear me you may be here listening to me there's nothing you do that works no matter how you try seek advice it will not work no matter what you do you are not bad you are not lazy but there is a spirit but right now lift your hands in the name of jesus one more time i come against the spirit that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people over the life of people at the count of three i want you to shout that name the name that is a key that opens the gate one two three i open it i open it i open it online outside i command it to open i command it to open locked by ancestry locked by divination locked by necromancy and projection manipulation of the constellations i command in the name of he that holds the key of david i command that door be open that no power can shut be sensitive tonight the spirit of god is moving one of the ushers one of the ushers you are an usher but the unction of the spirit help her visiting your family visiting your family hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a lady quickly there's no time to speak our time is gone we have to pray for the sick but i'm seeing a lady you have two sisters two of them are barren they are married no children please where are you it's part of your prayer request you are wearing a black dress you are the one come Ah, there's witchcraft in your family look at me come you are a great lady but there is terrible witchcraft in your family there is a lady again the Lord is opening my eyes I don't know why this happens I'm seeing a map Benway 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 people get ready Benway 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 I see Benway and the Lord says stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in Benway I stretch my hands right now the anointing of the spirit visiting people Benway 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 by the spirit of God by the spirit of God hear me and I'm hearing in my spirit break the covenant of motherhood I don't know what this means but this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women I arrest it right now in the name of Jesus I see fire dropping right now people from Benway you are from Benway you come under this influence please help that yes. Benway Benway the spirit of the living God the spirit of the living God traveling to Benway breaking covenant I speak to the soil of that land release the destinies tied with you listen what I'm seeing is not good the Lord is taking me to a vision and I'm standing and I'm seeing black ropes around trees this is Otuko black ropes tied around trees and the Lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands at the count of three may the fire that the God of Elijah commanded I command it right now upon every shrine every activity of darkness in the name of Jesus let it come upon you now let it come upon you now 
let it come upon you now hallelujah the supernatural I've taught you operate only in partnership with five elements listen without one or more of these elements the supernatural cannot find expression I am seeing a wild this is a serpent I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again I'm seeing a serpent I stretch my hands the Bible says for the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not now listen carefully five elements of the supernatural number one is light the supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light number two the air sound the supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound number three the earth the earth is a universal point of contact every living thing makes contact with it number three are we together number four water the mystery that bears witness water is not an entity water is history water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit contained within it are more mysteries than we understand number five fire a mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything purifies and destroys can make and kill the only personality with the quality of fire is God can make a life and destroy it would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing purify gold and destroy the impurities I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural because everyone is standing on the ground I want to pray for you the Lord is asking me to break delay please just follow me we are coming to the sick people but just follow me tonight let's walk circumspectly I'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down they cannot move you are here no matter what you do there is no progress this is the story of your family look at me the Lord wants to visit you first even before your family your two sisters they are married no child are you married you are not married we have to pray I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you but God is raising you to be a savior in your family believe this thing no you may not look like it but it is the spirit of Deborah but first and foremost you must be delivered first God is not finished with her I command that devil go there is no hiding in his presence in the name of Jesus Christ hold my hands my dear in the name of Jesus the Lord God whom I serve I command the reign of witchcraft as I hold you right now over your sisters over your life and over your family I command them to be broken right now I release upon you grace for restoration in the name of Jesus and I pray for you that grace of Deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men I release that grace upon you I want you to go and tell your sisters the Lord brings a visitation to them even as he did to Hannah at Shiloh the Lord comes for them with strange visitations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now all those under the anointing I command the spirits any spirit that has been located by God must leave the victims therefore in the name of Jesus and at the count of three you know my voice I represent his majesty at the count of three you must let them go now and forever one two three be gone go out of their lives destinies now and forever out of their lives out of their destinies I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery for when a thief is caught he's made to pay back tenfold I command recovery in the name of Jesus let them go there is no hiding for his light shines upon you in the name of Jesus Christ listen if there is any project you are involved in lift your hand any project business project building project please just lift your hands before I pray 
we pray the prayer that will release speed projects ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place and I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here there is a visitation that is coming for the people here therefore I stretch my hands Lord your will be done I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them right now in the name of Jesus I release that unction and that grace everyone within this vicinity let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life it's not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time it's a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north he said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough I want you to stand on the ground I see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen I want us to shout the name of Jesus three times that's what the Holy Ghost is telling me I will lead you and you will shout it the third time the chains of delay and stagnation will will break open many of you physically physically you feel it happening thank you Jesus let the word of God come upon this prophecy are you ready now number one are you ready number two now I want you to get ready that grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run overtaking the chariots of Ahaz speed and advancement is coming on people right now are you ready? shout Jesus receive it now receive it now let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement I command you to advance I command you to move forward I break limitations I break limitations I command advancement outside advancement the overflows advancement may that anointing hit you advancement 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 in the name of Jesus the son of the living God no power can stop you our God is greater our God is stronger God you are higher than many other. help me our God is here awesome in power your hands towards me don't lift it up stretch it towards me there is there is going to be an activation of strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts the time for impartation will come but fire is living and it's coming upon people and the Lord said let them stretch their hands 
in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands back to you in the name of Jesus gifts 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 dormant gifts dormant gifts where is it I call it forth now dormant gifts dormant gifts you may not know it's there I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit I'm talking of potentials gifts gifts I stir it up right now like a well I command it like the axe head I command it to float right now I command it to float right now gifts that will bring you honor gifts so toko toko to perekete gifts hallelujah hallelujah gifts there is a lady i'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit you are dressed in something that looks like orange like the house are dressing from your head to who is that who is that come from this row jesus praise what's your name veronica from where i came from abuja you came from abuja as i stood here i was hearing your prayer and you were saying lord let this man of god locate him and the lord is saying i should tell you that two things now number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life that's the first thing that is happening to you captivity and reproach captivity and reproach inside inside the main auditorium from where people sit in front count nine lines nine rows one two three four five six seven eight nine the power of God is coming on somebody on that row right now inside inside it's a strange miracle coming for that person the ninth row supernatural manifestation of the power of God my sister what do you want the Lord to do in your life uh -uh. you are just generalizing huh I'm looking at you oh, and then I'm seeing your heart and I'm seeing should I say it do you believe you can are you married huh where's your husband did you come with him what do you want the Lord to do for him see this man is your real prayer that's that's you want the Lord to honor him and what what is he doing now I'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place that has been your desire go and tell him that a man of God has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the Lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um, place I'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so I can leave this place we have to pray for the sick I'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it Maimuna? is it Maimuna or something i'm hearing a name Maimuna. 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 I wish we had time today but we have to pray for the sick i want us to leave this very fast because i'm going to counsel well just leave her i found the person but but you come my dear i want to pray who is this no 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 no. it's not just any grace i'll pray for you my dear lift your hands god wants to visit your family there are four people here a very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now no 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 four of you right now a strong power is hitting you right now just in this this place outside i don't know what it is about this place maybe the miracle services will start coming here now there is there's real faith in this place my dear i end it now i end it now in the name of jesus christ Keep your hands on her stomach i end it now i command that reproach taken from your life in the name of jesus don't come out for social reasons but i'm seeing a lady here you have suffered a very terrible infection this is a, a woman issue a terrible infection this thing 
you have treated it and done everything you know to do but it has refused to go this is witchcraft it's not just a normal infection you have spent your money but right now the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that it comes to an end complete end right now in the name of jesus christ complete end i stretch my hands four people right now here in this world lord where are they one is a lady three are gentlemen step into that dimension that's right help them thank you jesus hold on there is a mother here god wants to wipe tears madam who is a gala here hold on you are a gala from where from where Oppo. where is that is there a place like that in the gala land huh in kogi state so that you don't come and tell us lies if, if you are not from there just wait there is your turn to come from lift your hands i'm seeing an attack on your life and your family and the lord is you free madam where is your child did you come with a child There's no time to waste, please. I'll just pray for you so that we can go. In the name of witchcraft, now. In on you right now. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is bringing into my life strange testimonies lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice those outside are you praying lift your voice and begin to pray Kai, one of the things listen hold on i'm seeing now i want you to believe it i just looked up and i started hearing the cry of as if babies just fill the room listen carefully I just lifted i wanted to move and i just lifted my eyes and the lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children if you are standing in for barrenness whether you are in any overflow please come in i want to minister to you by myself barrenness only barrenness please husband and wife if you are standing for barrenness except you are standing in for someone if you are standing alone you must be married praise god if you are standing alone, you must be married. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. You can go. You can go, Pastor Alpha. Now, we are going to pray. And while they are doing that, let's buy time. Ushers, move around all the overflows. Make sure you collect the request of everybody. I notice overflow three. There are few people attending to them there so let's have people you see why we need more ushers and we need more people say after me father, father. everyone shout it father, father. we receive, we receive. Your, visitation. your visitation in the name of jesus name of we receive miracles, we receive miracles. Signs, signs and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry the hand of god is here to bless you in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise those online i want you to connect by faith and trust the power of god to touch you we have very few minutes to do this and in the name of jesus will be done no matter what the issue is as we touch you start checking yourself you can register your testimony we'll take it on friday whether you are standing in for someone don't worry the power of god is there to touch you in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise do you know why I came here? Because I saw that this woman, your issue is not just healing. Hold on. I saw the, her holding pictures and a passport. And then I'm looking at it. And I saw a plane. Is it something like you were staying outside the country? Is that true? Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a woman, a plane, bringing you. Is that true? Uh-uh. 
and the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing another vision I'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man like your husband and that man drove you yes sir he drove yes sir from where from abroad where is abroad Qatar from where where is he this is you yes. ah. one week. oh my god this is a baby look at me why did he drive you away you see why prophecy is powerful look at this woman come madam I looked at these things and the Lord told me that this woman needs help I know I'm taking time but let's attend madam don't cry it's okay where were you before no other man we are together in our blood we are together I, were you married yes sir you are from where Benway State sir you are from Benway yes sir you say I told you what God was saying about Benway you you married him and went abroad yes sir then what happened he said as you come back my paper is having issue not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community <laughs> So he married another woman. Yeah, from my same community, sir. He's staying abroad with her. Yes, sir. He drove you away with the baby. Yes, sir. No, he, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now said to come see, back. Man, listen. This this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now I don't mean no disrespect but you see why ladies will tell you people to marry people who are born again not just people who have money huh? don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe one bag and just carry you around like that it must be godly look at what this man did for this woman one week and left her with this innocent child so where are you staying now I'm staying out in Abuja so my it's sister. from Abuja you came yes sir what do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman. Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife. Yes, And she still came and married. Yes, my dad is also here, sir. Where's your dad? Yes. Daddy, please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. He's from, okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a penal state. You are suffering. Hi. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this? This, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, is what witchcraft looks like. Are you seeing this? Whether you are in Qatar or wherever, if that spirit is not destroyed, this is what it will do. Because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman. But she didn't look... If you see this woman, does she look like somebody who has gone abroad? I'm not insulting you. You can see that this woman was not even treated well. Suffered with the man. Now he went abroad and sent her back. When this baby now, if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby, when this baby becomes responsible, the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back. Then they will now accuse men of God and accuse everybody and say everybody is stupid. You are using the baby to make to get power you see why sometimes we avoid these things it's not because we cannot help people honestly it's because sometimes the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of god you do anything to try to help this baby now you'll be in trouble are we together help me you're the God of awesome one. Hey, you stood up your power. The Lord is opening my eyes. The same spirit 
that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now they are not even no 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 i'm not seeing peace huh i'm not seeing peace i'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone and then i'm seeing another man's text and the man is giving her a dirty slap slap on her face bible said what god has joined what's his name simon in the name of jesus christ by the power that created the heavens and the earth i call you back to your wife in the name of jesus may you encounter a man of god and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there and i declare in the name of jesus this baby will not be a bastard baby i speak to you every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby we cancel it right now madam look at me i decree and declare the favor that was on esther that made her dancer look at her once and had to call her to be his queen may that favor come upon you listen don't go to any native doctor you hear me because i'm seeing one mama coming to you in abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody she told you is a man of god is a native doctor don't go anywhere huh and number two anybody that says you should bring one naira what did i say one naira for prayer just thank him and walk away if, if this poor woman you still collect money from her for prayer then you must be a very wicked person isn't it in the name of jesus he will return with testimony my brother come are you walking what do you want god to do in your life um, i'm a pastor so when i i mean god called me into ministry so in the field the back to be i mean the came so tough the the attack and the uh, foundation they became so strong so i took off i i couldn't stay but up, up to now god is still calling me back to where i serve him i've been serving him to where serve. where were you serving in Kogi state no you need mentorship you need covering you need impartation you don't just get up like that and go into ministry god saved you they would have killed you like a chicken there are rules to this thing eh it's not just because you touch somebody and he fell down you get up and go to Kogi state do you know what pursued you back eh? is the mercy of god is not witchcraft they would you would have died like a chicken please listen i'm not scaring you but there are systems don't get up out of zeal and just say i am anointed be careful as powerless as satan is is your understanding that this depowers him if you don't have that understanding you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed praise the lord my brother hold my hands i'm not just seeing you doing ministry truly you need help eh? you need help after service come and see this man pastor alpha eh? after service come and see him he will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you in the name of jesus christ a time of prophecy and activations some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction your ministries your lives your businesses the prophetic word of god is very powerful when there is grace back in it because it does not only reveal it creates are we together in the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a grace walking in this gentleman you are the first i know you are doing protocol work but you are the first to receive this grace i see a grace of two of you. supernatural gift of the holy ghost taking you to a new dimension in the spirit hallelujah benga come grace another dimension of fire lift your hands grace fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire 
fresh dimension. You speak and there is power of performance. Power of performance. Power of performance. Power of performance. No word will be empty. You speak and there is grace and the power of performance. Hallelujah. Someone come and hold. Victor, come. Come and hold them. Somebody. Grace. Supernatural influence and wisdom and victory in a strange dimension. A dimension you have never seen in your life in the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace. I open up that level. Grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Where shall they? We're rounding up. They are doing their. Please, someone, hold her. I don't want. Hold the child. Speaking, we have just a minute or two. Hold her. Make sure that. Ladies, you come and hold her. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is quickening the power of sight, the grace to see, grace to see, the grace to see. Make sure you are holding her well. The grace to see. Penny, you are taking back fresh fire, fresh fire, in the name of Jesus Christ fresh fire I'm not it's not like I'm just picking people this is this is just by the spirit come the Lord is bringing glory on you fresh fire even upon your hands in the name of Jesus Christ listen you see hold on we're out of time but pastor house on the rock come you have been desiring something for a long time. Come. God is giving it to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. May that fire. May that grace. Take a drink of that wine. In the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction. Capacity. Open up your capacity in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a heavy spirit under that small girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Place it on her. Just place it on her. Leave, leave it there. In the name of Jesus. Judgment upon that devil. This foul spirit. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but I want you to receive. Let me start with the men of God. You are in ministry here. It's time to take something heavy and something genuine. Let me pray. Jamfa, come. Ejimi, come. I'm seeing a, a new, a truly new grace and a new wine. New grace. And a new one is supernatural dimension. Dimension. This grace will speak in unbelievable ways. Lord, bring him into that experience. In the name of Jesus. Truly bring him into that experience. I open up. I open up. I open up. Closed fountains. I open up now. Closed fountains. I open up now. Fire. Fresh grace for influence. Influence, influence, business influence, new grace, new dimensions of wealth, influence, commanding miracles, strange miracles. Collect that child from hope. Collect that child from hope. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire hope. I activate that dimension. Fresh fire. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you eyes that see strange dreams revealing direction for people's lives in the name of Jesus where's Aaron Aaron where's Aaron in the name of Jesus Christ 
the Lord says I should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ Kai, something is coming strong go for new levels in ministry at the count of three if you are here in ministry there is a call of God upon your life one, two that fire comes now take that fire now take that fire a new level of ministry a new level of power a new level of grace never to be buried never to be buried never to be buried Never to be buried. Where is Yerima, head of department media? Please come quickly. Quickly, I'm praying. Where is he? Oh, that's him there. In the name of Jesus, the Lord says he's bringing you honor, untold honor, untold honor by the Spirit of the living God. Untold honor, untold honor, untold honor. Now I decree and declare. Jordan, where's Jordan? Jordan Bookstore. I hear restoration. Where are you? Restoration fire. That restoration fire. In the name of Jesus. Everything the canker worm, the palmer worm has stolen. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God comes upon you. And you begin to run like Elijah. I prophesy speed. Receive it now. Receive it now. Speed, speed, speed. Speed by the unction of the Spirit. Speed by the unction of the Spirit. Speed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I place an unction on your life receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now where's Pastor Alpha's wife just hold her there is heavy so in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying have I not said I will bring you favor it will manifest God is bringing favor after you give birth to your child pastor your family will step into a strange level of favor it will be at the commencement of this boy's birth or this child the moment the child is born in the name of Jesus Christ there will be strange miracles by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for you the kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life I declare receive it now receive it right now all your tithes your giving God has released the blessings but something has hijacked it in the realm of the spirit Jabakatos Kebranda I command a release of your harvest. I command a release of your harvest. I command a release of your harvest. Whatever was not working in your life before you came here, I decree by the Spirit of the Living God, go back to it and watch it work in a way that will shock you. Whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately. I say it again. Whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you, to make sure that you die, or any bad news from your family, I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Christ as you step into the month of May 
by the power that is in the name of Jesus I declare in one month alone in one month he said have you ever had this that a city is born in one day he said but as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a son I declare in one month this month of May a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring you strange results receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names if they have never testified from January till now I command testimonies from next month I pray for those who are students you wrote your exams you cannot rest you are afraid whatever went wrong I change it now whatever went wrong I change it now I don't care what went wrong I change it now anyone here trusting God for a job by May miracle service as surely as the God of heaven lives may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job and you are here you are walking and they've refused to promote you whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office in the name of Jesus Christ any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural to limit your life I pray now I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them the same way the stars fought for Deborah I command the earth to fight them I command their success to fight them anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness carnality whatever it is sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life your passion you were on fire for God but there's laziness carelessness lukewarmness in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson I command a sevenfold restoration for you now prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has destroyed your word life no passion you carry your Bible you don't even know what to study you make up your mind that you will study there is a grace that helps men I pray in the name of Jesus may that enabling grace come upon your life now may that enabling grace come upon your life now the final prayer I want to pray for you listen there is a name that God is called the lifter of men hear me don't let any man lie to you that he can lift you on his own a man can receive nothing except it is given to him do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you yes read your Bible lifting to leave your current position to another is not a sign of big manism it truly is a sign that God is with you read your Bible there is nobody that God was with who he did not lift God who can pick a man from a donkey many of us it's not like you are doing bad but where you are you have been there for a long time everybody is rising and they come and see you spiritually financially please don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of God if you are not lifted you will be frustrated at a point because the only way to bless others is as you are rising therefore I speak to your life the God who has gloriously lifted this ministry the God who by his spirit has helped us giving us a voice connected us to over 44 nations of the earth supernaturally by his spirit 
I pray in the name of Jesus wherever on the surface of the earth your lifting is tied to I decree and declare Maraka tosh kalibre getela tor Mare doskopre teke labariatata Be lifted now in the name of Jesus Be lifted now in the name of Jesus I speak to your business Whatever you do Be lifted now in the name of Jesus I speak to your ministry Be lifted now in the name of Jesus they are taking for a prey and none say it restore i say restore i prophesy restore in the name of jesus wave your hands and give jesus all the praise hallelujah isaiah 59 Holy Spirit, thank you for your majestic presence. Lord, people have come from different states, different parts of this nation. There are many streaming on Facebook from different parts of the world father your people have not come to see a man your people have come with real issues who but you O oh lord is able to wipe the tears that are in our eyes for by the arm of flesh no man can prevail and so holy spirit let no man be seen tonight. Do wonders in this place. Beat us beyond our imagination. Father, for the sake of Jesus, do miracles in this place. Let your kingdom come, O God. Let the power of the Holy Ghost be let loose in this place. Do awesome things. Give everyone a testimony everyone who is under the influence of this glorious presence i pray that no situation will defy will defy your power tonight move in dramatic ways oh god miracles oh god signs wonders breakthroughs by the power that is in the name of jesus lord tonight save sinners let Jesus be glorified in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Isaiah 59. Hmm. Such a strong presence of the Holy Ghost in this place. Behold, verse 1. The Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ears heavy that it cannot hear. I'll read it one more time. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Our fathers told us, O oh Lord, that by your mighty right hand, you wrought miracles in their days. You altered the course of destinies by the power of the Holy Spirit. Would you do it again tonight? For your word has declared that your ears are ever open. And that your hands are not short. Stretch it tonight in power. And do wonders in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please walk around and hug everyone you can find. Just tell them, welcome. God will do glorious things in your life.
outside. We are watching. Come on, a big hug to everyone. Hallelujah. Give God a shout of praise. Let the devil know you came for a miracle service tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Outside, can you let those inside know you are alive and strong? Hallelujah! Praise God! I'm excited in my spirit. why a believer gets excited the bible says when the storm was boisterous paul said an angel of the lord has shown me that there shall be no loss an angel of the lord has appeared i tell you god showed me tonight's meeting is going to be awesome Hallelujah. can we sing just one song of praise hallelujah hands together. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is no other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, rejoice. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are
for those of you who are just coming, welcome. This is Koinonia. Let me tell you something. People will not just shout for nothing if God is not alive. Human beings are not so dumb. If God is not alive, they will not shout for nothing. Be seated. Hallelujah. All right, help me, instrumentalist. Praise the Lord. Jesus, I am from you. I proclaim that you are. Yes, Lord. Tonight, Lord, we raise you high. And as we worship you, you're your throne, Jesus, and take your Verse 2, Isaiah 59. But your iniquity have separated you and your God and your sins have hidden his face from you that he will not hear. Hallelujah. Now very briefly I'll just encourage our hearts and then have you wondered why many people keep running on to God? Lord help me. Sicknesses, diseases, all kinds of infirmities and it looks like in many cases God seems to be helpless hallelujah people come with their sicknesses and go back yet we read in this Bible that verily verily I say unto you he that believeth on me the works that I do he shall also do and greater works Hallelujah. The Bible says in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, He said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And He went about doing good and healing not some all day that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with Him. In other words, oppression comes from Satan. Correct? He said he healed all that were oppressed. Of who? The devil. Bible says in John 10 verse 10. He said the thief cometh not. But to steal. To kill. In other words you can look at a life. And know whether Satan has passed through that life. There is a footprint. There are many families you can trace the works of Satan. He comes. When he comes and meets you. He doesn't leave you the same. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus said, I am come. I am come. That ye may have life and have that life in abundance. Do you believe this? Hallelujah. And here Isaiah is speaking by the Spirit. He said, the Lord's hand is not short. Why does it look like God is unable to heal and to deliver? Why does it look like Satan is prevailing over families? All kinds of manifestations of darkness. And believers cry and we look so helpless. Oh God, come and save us. And we talk about all kinds of satanic manipulations in different families. 
people pray they have vigils they bring pastors and prophets and it looks like satan is not scratched one bit has that happened to any family here people take communion they take anointing oil they take all kinds of things they pray 21 days fasting 40 days fasting the sickness remains yet the bible says the hand of the lord is not too short that he cannot say he said his ears are not so dumb that he cannot hear the prayers of the saints many of you coming here have cried you've gone from pillar to post looking for solution can i tell you something friends especially those of you who are in the ministry christianity is useless until it can present the love of jesus to people in a practical and a personal way are you listening to me a lot of people who say miracles is it really necessary just teach people the word now the day you get into trouble you will know the need for the power of god because some of you are just laughing but there are families that came right now it's a matter of life and death hallelujah there are many people here with all kinds of sicknesses doctors are probably giving you reports that you have a few days or a few weeks to live maybe hiv maybe cancer tumors growths all kinds of things barrenness and all kinds of people coming with every manifestation of curses and whatever delays you cannot account for hallelujah so when we're talking about miracles we're not just talking about healing in your body alone are you listening to me we're talking about miracles signs wonders breakthrough you know what breakthrough is breakthrough occurs when whatever is limiting you is taken away so that you are no more limited financial breakthroughs breakthrough in your life in your mind that you advance there are many of us you remain in circles no accomplishment no achievement there's nothing to show for it there are many families that are represented that way so i like your heart to be set tonight don't just come to spectate and watch others while i prayed for this meeting i said lord start with me tonight that's what i told god i said lord as i dispense your power and as we show how powerless satan is tonight listen let me tell you something god will demonstrate one more time that every sickness is a spirit it has an ear it has a name and it can bow it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you they won't just bow for there is a name there is a name we come in that name and david stood before goliath he said you come to me with your spears but i come to you in the name of the lord god the captain of the host of israel the one who you have defied tonight whatever has defied prayers fasting whatever you will watch it bow right before your eyes in the name of the lord jesus make sure that as you're standing tonight you're also connecting with your family he said as for me and my house that while you are here the bible says when the centurion said no i am not worthy that you should come to my house but speak the word only the bible says as he declared man that result was happening in the house and people ran back with testimonies that that very same hour so the power of god knows no distance and no barrier he stood from the tomb of lazarus and shouted and that sound reverberated in hell no distance it picked one person and brought him back into this earth realm i want you to know that you are not coming to the kind of god that many people in their religion have presented as if god is just a little greater than satan no i come to present to you an all-powerful god tonight one who is limited by nothing hallelujah limited by nothing he searched the heavens and the entire span of galaxy to find who was greater than him so that he would submit to and swear by 
and he found no man and the bible says he chose to swear by himself that by these two immutable things it is impossible for god to lie we have seen testimonies upon testimonies in this place the hand of god changing blood groups from ss to aa all kinds of bone conditions cancers tumors hiv for if it has a name then it has a knee and it can bow in the realm of the spirit only the lesser bows to the greater it's an aberration for the greater one to bow to the letter and tonight we come with a name call cancer a name call hiv a name call breakthrough what whatever all kinds of mental bondages that subject people into pain in life cause delays that you cannot experience tonight you will experience the liberty of the spirit i like your heart to be open don't be a spectator see the bible says they had the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith when you hear the word like this you say lord this is me they are talking about when it's time for your power to move as you are healing people i will clap for my neighbor but let me rejoice because your hand is not too short you are able to save let me tell you something friends if god cannot help you you are finished because no man can help you he said i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help say my help comes from the lord the maker some of you are standing outside because there are no chairs. Let me tell you something. Make sure you don't waste your experience. You're standing. No one knows you in this crowd. But I'd like you to press. The woman with the issue of blood took initiative. She said, tonight I will break some rules. If I may but touch the helm of his garment. You may call me unclean but I will press. Whatever you want to say about me, we will discuss when they saw jesus in the room the people found that they could not press they said look let's tear this zinc we will negotiate with the man after he gets healed there is a way you can be desperate for a miracle there is a way you can be tired of the state of your life and your family that dissatisfaction is the raw material you need for the miraculous for the bible says woe unto every man who is at ease in zion it takes a level of anger that you say like jacob lord people have been celebrating the same sickness that brought me here and let it change tonight tonight we are not coming to discuss with satan we are not coming to just comfort you psychologically we don't have time for that nonsense hallelujah that every window of opportunity that is destined for you i trust that tonight god will restore men let me tell you what restoration is listen listen restoration is not advancement restoration is god taking you through time he said i will restore the years canker worm can eat the years of a man's life so a man is moving forward but in the spirit you are you are far behind you are just advancing in age celebrating but there's no accomplishment So, canker worms can eat years. Let me tell you something. But God said, I am able to restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. So that in one day, like Samson, he killed more people in one day than he did in his lifetime. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that dreams and visions tonight will arise. There are many of you that the, the kind of gift and grace that God has bestowed upon your life, for whatever reason you have allowed Satan to lie to you, but I pray. And there are many of you just like Saul. Saul left the son of Kish, went to look for his father's ass. Little did he know it was destiny calling him. Some of you are 100 level students. You do not even know that God brought you here. You thought you just came for a meeting. You watch as destiny begins to unveil in the power of his presence. For when he left, he met Samuel and Samuel anointed him. Suddenly Saul, who left as an ordinary man, 
stepped into a band of prophets and began to prophesy and men said is Saul also one of the prophets there is a way God can alter the life of a man that your life becomes the epistle the message you don't need to talk your life begins to demonstrate it hallelujah so don't say you don't need a miracle tonight don't say you don't need a breakthrough tonight we are going to be shouting in the realm of the spirit and we are going to be telling some doors and ancient gates to open up the bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquities of their fathers hallelujah and for those of you who came from far let me tell you something that that journey alone is a sign that god must change your story tonight go and read your bible everyone who came to jesus from afar was healed not one went back disappointed you don't know it's an act of faith to risk yourself on the road hallelujah It's an act of faith because you see god is everywhere but his manifested presence to heal and to deliver is not everywhere that's why oftentimes he will call men to a certain place where he will meet with them not everywhere hallelujah the bible says but your iniquity you know i began to pray and i was crying unto god i said lord why is it that in a great meeting like this only maybe few people receive testimonies of miracles and breakthrough and then the large congregation just gets excited maybe they fall down they stand up they're happy they cry and that's it do you know that god's prophetic instrument for publicity is the manifestation of the kingdom in the lives of people when god truly touches you you will be too grateful to keep quiet that's how the gospel was supposed to advance hallelujah and the lord showed me one thing he said son we spend time trying to pray against demons trying to pray against many things which has its place but did you know the Lord shocked me? Not that I didn't know it, but it came with a new light that the greatest hindrance to the flow of the power of God in a man's life is sin. I know many of you have heard it. But right now when we come for meetings, we concentrate on demons. Correct? We concentrate on um, unbelief and, and different things. Which is wonderful. But I need you to know that sin, listen, sin in a man's life is the greatest and surest doorway to short circuit the power of god now we trivialize these things that's why we don't see the authentic power of the spirit that's why just a few people are touched do you know my prayer every time i step in and i see people there are people outside to as far as your eyes can see I don't just brag and get excited and say see the crowd i'm saying lord how many of these people will genuinely go back with a testimony because it's not fair for people to leave their homes leave different places there are probably hundreds and thousands of people streaming and following us online and it will be so unfair for people to leave their homes and come only to rejoice for a few hours and go back I said, Lord, it's not my life that will do that kind of ministry. Hallelujah. The sin barrier. There are lots of believers that don't deal with issues in their lives that empower Satan and empower demons to find expression over the life of people. Every time God healed people, he would tell them, go and sin no more. Lest a greater sickness or a greater challenge come to you we don't address the issue of sin because we feel oh we are the righteousness of god in christ wonderful and that's true but let me tell you something you empower satan a true life of holiness 
and righteousness and godliness is the greatest way of resisting the devil and commanding authentic supernatural power. Are you listening to me? We must be able to close the door. The Bible says through sin, death came. The word death near does not just mean cessation from living. It means anything that does not typify life through sin. Sin opened the door for sickness, opened the door for oppression, opened the door for every kind of satanic manipulation. Tonight, friends, I love you too much to lie to you. I won't deceive you. We will take a few minutes and truly address. And I said, Lord, all this sin, sin, you know, the whole thing, God told me that uh -uh, it's not just my mercy is there but there are some sins the bible says the sin that easily besets us hebrews 12 verse 1 it says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses he said let us lay aside every weight and the sin that means it's specific you know it the sin that easily besets us and then we will run with perseverance the race that is set before us are you listening to me there are many people who want to receive from god and i want you to get the best of god but let me tell you something if sin is at work in your life it will keep empowering demons because of the influence of god's power in this territory they may seem to leave you for a while but they will gather their kind and return back because if that sin issue is not addressed the bible calls it the sin that easily besets us hallelujah and the Lord began to show me again. Hallelujah. That scripture, 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14. Popular scripture. But many people do not see the life in it. He said, if my people. So the first statement is, they are my people, correct? If my people, who are what? Called by my name. But it does not mean they will be free automatically. They are my people. They are called by my name. He said, they shall do what? Humble themselves. That's the first thing you need to do tonight. Whoever you are. Pride is one thing that kills people. They feel they don't need a miracle. They do not want to subject themselves to God's laws of receiving miracles. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and then do what? Turn. This is what the church does not want. We want to receive miracles and return back to our life. So don't talk to me about my life. Just heal me and let me go. Just pray for me. Let financial doors be open. Let me just be a millionaire. Let me just be blessed. Let me build a house. Let my parents buy the car. Wonderful. Let me get the job. Let me be promoted. He said, but shall turn from what? Their wicked ways. There must be a turning. God says, I will be watching until you turn. The strength of forgiveness is if there is repentance. If there is no repentance, forgiveness does not have value. And turn from their wicked ways. He said, then will I hear from heaven. He said, and I will forgive their sins and do what? And heal their land. There are four major sins that the Bible puts and that God revealed to me while praying for this meeting that easily beset men and we're going to consider them very quickly because I want us to just enjoy what God is going to do today number one number one is what the Bible calls immorality hallelujah immorality is not just sex are you listening to me so don't you sit that there and say, thank God I'm not part. Just keep quiet and let me land. Immorality is not just sex. Hallelujah. Immorality. A state of lust for anything that is not any, the, the cravings of the flesh. Immorality. A sin that doth easily beset a lot of people. That's why they see that they cannot walk in perpetual miracles. 
you can pray you can fast you can jump but i'm telling you if you do not address the issue of immorality in your life forget about walking in authentic power you may not like the message tonight but god brought you to listen hallelujah because what we men of God do is that as soon as members come, we just come and we tell people, oh, receive, take the power of God, do this. No, 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 no. You must address the life of the people so that the miraculous will be a blessing to them. Say amen. Immorality. We must be able to open up ourselves and flog out that issue and close doors listen did you know that the greatest expression of intimacy between a man and a woman is sex correct that's the same way when the spirit of immorality comes upon you it seeks partnership with your human spirit and will never allow you to walk in true righteousness and holiness I want you not only to be blessed tonight but to receive the authentic power of the holy spirit if you came here to hear the truth and to be blessed i'm telling you the truth the sin that doth easily beset us number two idolatry one great sin that easily besets people you know what idolatry is idolatry is not just building an image idolatry is putting your hope your trust and your confidence in any other thing above god any other thing my uncle my auntie my this my that the bible says woe unto any man he that puts his strength in a man this is the reason why many people cannot receive from God. Every time God says, I want to bless you, your mind is going to one uncle. And the truth is, you think you are trusting God. You only remember that your uncle said he will bless you. So when the prophetic word is coming, you are, see, you are already calculating. Who told you God needs your uncle to bless you? Are you listening to me? Idolatry. you take away every support and say lord you have made a way for men in the wilderness you have called strangers to bless people i take my eyes i've said it in life and in death i put my strength in no man aside from god whatever god cannot do for me let it not be done wherever god cannot take me i will not go are you listening to me you must challenge yourself idolatry many people put their whole strength in a man of God now I know the Bible says believe in the Lord and you shall be established you shall be established believe his prophet and you shall prosper you must also believe the vessel that God is going to use but not to come and begin to worship a man because you are looking for miracles are you listening to me there are lots of believers who are caught up in that kind of satanism. Yes, God uses vessels. God is using me right now to bless you. And shortly you will be experiencing higher levels of his grace and anointing in this place. But I want you to know that your strength and your confidence. This is why it is always our desire to exalt Jesus Christ. We have no business trying to exalt a man. Joshua Selman. The king of kings and the lord of lords. The one who is coming to perform miracles. Let me tell you something. I have confidence and I believe God will use me to bless you. It's not pride. It's the truth. He has anointed us. Jesus said the spirit of the lord is upon me. He didn't say the spirit of the lord is in heaven. He said it's upon me. So there is a place of confidence. But not to bring you to a point where you must worship me. Because I am the absolute custodian of the power of the spirit. That's witchcraft. It's idolatry. Hallelujah. 
So for those of you who came here to see the great man, Joshua Selman, you've had me on tape. This is the man. Nothing much about me. Except for the fact that I'm available for him to use me. Are you listening to me? There is only one name that should be exalted. Jesus. Not God. Jesus. God can mean anything to people. A bottle of minerals. One stone somewhere in your village. But when you say Jesus, the Bible says he's the express image of the Father. Hallelujah. So every miracle that you will see in this place is the Lord walking through willing vessels to bring miracles for people. Hallelujah. That's why we rejoice and we are confident. We won't do that false humility to lie that we are not anointed. I'm anointed. It's an election by grace. It's not pride. It's the truth. The ministers are anointed. However, we will not forget the anointed is only an usher. Christ is the one we are leading men to. So if tonight's miracle does not direct people to Jesus Christ, we ended up creating a platform of witchcraft where we become the king of kings over the lives of people. Hallelujah. Number three, very quickly. Unbelief. Unbelief. The Bible says in Hebrews, there's no time. It said they did not enter their rest because of unbelief. There, there, there are certain Christians who are so cynical. Listen to me. And many of you need to be delivered from that spirit. Hallelujah. You never believe anything that is God. Someone says, ah, I had a fractured leg. It just fixed now. And you are just saying, hey, oh, they should allow me to come and stand and check all these stories we are doing. How are we sure that the person, you see, that cynical spirit is what the Bible calls unbelief. Hallelujah. So, when people are opening themselves and receiving, you're just standing there and wondering and saying, wow, interesting. How are we sure this way? How are we sure? How are we sure? That's just the language satanic and demonic hallelujah say I'm a believer tonight don't just watch others and say this thing let me look first if two people get healed that's when I'll be sure or my friend that I came with let's see now if you don't get blessed you can't come and beat us did we collect money from you we will enjoy the blessings of God and move. Whether or not you don't believe that God is at work. Look at the people inside and outside. Their joy unto God will trample your unbelief. But I know there is a God who heals, who delivers, who can change the stories of men. The fourth sin that easily besets men is what the Bible calls a lying tongue. A lying tongue. Book of Proverbs, the Bible says six things the Lord does hate. Seven, an abomination to him. The second in that list is a lying tongue. Let me tell you what a lying tongue is. A lying tongue is not just saying, ah, Reuben is wearing kaftan. Where is wearing suit? Are you listening to me? A lying tongue is that tongue that is not consistent with the truth of God's word. That's what the Bible calls a lying tongue. It's not just negating or saying things that did not happen. So if God says you are blessed and you refuse, you are a liar because God cannot lie. You get my point now? A lying tongue. Many of us allow our tongues to profess and to speak things that are not consistent with the word of God. God says you are healed. You are there celebrating sickness. 
God says you are blessed. Hallelujah. And now we think it doesn't matter. But the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. It said, life and death are where? In the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That means you will eventually eat the fruit of whatever you are sowing. I refuse to have a lying tongue. That's why I believe he will bless people tonight. I dare not say he will not bless. We are going to pray in the next five minutes and say, Lord, whatever will not let me go back with a great miracle tonight, take it away from my life. No, no, no. We don't bow our heads in this place. Stand up on your feet. We are going to pray. Now is not the time to sleep. Please rise up and pray. Inside and outside, in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Say, Lord, I know that your hands are not too short. I cried my life unto God. I said, Lord, tonight, as you bless men, do not forget me. As you change the stories of men, as you have always done, do not forget me. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, my life is free from immorality. My life is free from a lying tongue. My life is free from idolatry. Tonight, my eyes are lifted up to you. Come on, pray. He's here tonight to bless us. I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in the lie that you were unable to help. Who told you God cannot help you? But now. Oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my heart, and with my song. Oh Lord, be mad. Make sure you're singing it from your heart. Inside and outside, be magnified. Be magnified. Oh Lord, magnified. You are highly exalted. Now tell the Lord what you want him to do in your life tonight. Say it so that when it happens, you will know he did it. Don't keep quiet. Say, Lord, change my story. Deliver my family tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Spirit of the Spirit of Lord. Come and make your presence, Lord, with me. 
the glory of, of the Lord. I Lord, let the heavens be open. I command the miracle angels, the angels of deliverance, across the land and breadth of this building. Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. I'm going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families listen it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go for the enemy has done this and God has so highly exalted him lift your hands as I rebuke the works of darkness as the power of God comes upon you let me help them in front. Thou devil of darkness, it's time to go. Let God's people go. 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 Let the power of God fall. Fall. I command demons, powers of darkness, for you cannot stand in the name that is above every other name. Go. Ushers, bring them. Outside. That devil. Let God's people go. Those outside. Lift your hands. The power of God sets men free. Sets men free. Sets men free. You're going to shout Jesus once and the power of God devils will leave they must go tonight they must go are you ready? especially outside the power of God will fall like rain shout Jesus Jesus let the angels, the angels of God are moving with a sword in this place. The angels of God are moving with a sword. Change. Be broken, chains be broken, chains be broken by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. I tell you, no devil can stand. Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword 
a mighty angel a mighty angel a mighty angel outside a mighty angel mighty angels mighty angels mighty angels i don't know why angels are moving outside but the lord shows me angels mighty angels the northern army of the most high moving in power Time of Satan. Time of over the destinies of God's people. Outside, an angel of the Lord's presence. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. Like fire. I see a whole roll outside. Like fire. A whole roll outside. Like fire. It's falling like rain. Like fire. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. This is a place for emancipation. God's people will go free. And no devil, no power in hell will stand the firepower. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. At the back, this row, at the back, for you shall not stand over God's people. The fire of God upon one person at the back, you will not stand it. It comes like rain with power upon you. every devil over God's people those of you in front at the count of three I command every devil go go one two three out 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let them go free. Every delay, every habit, every spirit, out of witchcraft, every enchantment. My sister, be free now. That devil, let her go free by the fire power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. 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 Be free. That devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Hallelujah. For you cannot stand the light of God. This lady has been tormented. Satan, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free. The heavens are open. God's power is touching everybody, not just those in front. 
Come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. She free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now be free. Come out of her. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. That fire power upon you. That fire power in the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. I see a woman I see a woman who came with a child a woman who came with a I'm seeing a small boy where is the woman inside or outside what's wrong with the child his body is hot his body is hot can you lose him can you hold him if you are deaf Hear me inside and outside. If you are deaf, whether in one ear or both ears, if you brought someone who is deaf, put your hands in the ear that is not working. It's time for deaf people to be healed now. Or even if you are hearing, I see two people. You you are hearing, but it's not clear because it looks like there's water. You literally feel like water is going to go now. For one of you, water will literally come out. Katapato kopaya. Deaf ears, hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deaf ears, make sure you check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Bring this lady. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot. And I leave him nothing nothing to You him. believe God will set this boy yes, free right I, now. Yes. Oh, there are miracles. Yes. Listen, God there are miracles happening. Now. Once you are under the influence of his presence, God is changing lives, opening doors. name of the Lord Jesus I set you free the power of God is going through his body that's what is making him uncomfortable in the name of Jesus be free now be free now I command your temperature to go down your son is free. Take. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone came. I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came. You are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly. Please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? How long has it been? Since when I was small. 
bring a chair for me please quickly what's wrong with you it's paining you how about you please bring three chairs quickly quickly let's save time just turn it no 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 turn it God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone you have abnormal, what do they call it, medical students? Help me. Heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing. She's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. See your legs. Don't worry. I'm not saying you should pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? God will give you a miracle here right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that? If you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it, please? Now watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right? Tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? Watch it. In the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at, look at, look at what is happening to this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ did you feel anything help out with the mic what did you feel now try walking stamp it come get up and try to stamp it try to stamp it just stamp it try to you still feel pains you still feel pains it's no are you serious Come on, celebrate a miracle. Come, come up here. Jump. Can you jump? Look at. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you. This is a simple thing. I'm telling you. Don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself. Because that's what a lot of people do. You like, this is not chambori. You disgrace yourself somewhere. Someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we will save time. They'll pray for you. Hallelujah. This is, what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? Like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been working with this. Yes, sir. You can't walk except you use it. Yes, sir. Look at me. My brother, I bring you life right now. Amen. I, look at me. Look at me. In the name that is above all names, I command the fractured leg to go. Amen. Let it join right now. See, look at what is happening to him. Look at what is happening to him. This is the power of the Holy Ghost. This is the power of the Holy Ghost going through the leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Can you walk? Look at me. Just start walking. Follow me. Look at this. Look at this. He came with crutches. Jump. Can you jump? Any pain? Fracture. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. Just got healed right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. A fractured leg. You are blind in one eye. What happened to you, sir? There was a who knows him. Who came here with him? Oh, you know him. He's a popular person. 
Is it true that he has been working with this crutch? Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. Yahweh. I think we should give God some praise. Yahweh. Let's have the mic. Pastor Jake just prayed for him. What happened to you, sir? Make sure you don't tell lies. So, hallelujah. Actually, I, I had an accident. Listen, okay. The leg was paining me. The leg was paining you. Exactly. So, okay. When the man was, uh, when Pastor Jake prayed for you, it got perfect. It, it became perfect. Come up, come up, come up. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Jump up. Look at this. Look at this. Yahweh, 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. If your blood group is SS or AS, now is the time for it to change forever. Listen, I'm serious. I'm serious. Please make sure you believe. We are not joking here. Outside, I see that there is a mighty miracle that God will soon do outside. AS. Hallelujah. You can connect for any member of your family. Anyone in this place. By the power of the Holy Spirit. We command AS and SS to change now to AA. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I sense someone has been healed in the ear. Someone has been healed in the ear. Please check. You came here with ear problem. Someone has been healed in the ear. The Lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear. Hallelujah. Sorry? My uncle Your uncle? Okay, hold on. I'm a fuller. My uncle has a twist. So every time. Your uncle has twisted. Yeah, How long? Three years now. Every okay. Every time I'm running, the uncle will be making some. Just remove your shoe. Let me make contact with it. What's wrong with you, sir? Irregular heartbeat. Eh? Irregular heartbeat. Oh, the irregular heartbeat. Watch it leave you now. It's a devil. Go! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Check yourself. Breathe. In and out. Test yourself. Could you do this before? Breathe in. Could you do this before? Look at this. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please, ushers, hold him. Let me just make contact with your feet. Hallelujah. Or Bishop San, just pray with him. He will pray with you. Check yourself. You will be healed. Hallelujah. So we can concentrate. I, I used to have, I play hockey. Okay, listen to this testimony. I play hockey. I'm a sportsman, and over the years, I've been having this uh, muzzle pull. Muzzle pull, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. And right now, there's no. Right now, he's healed. Power of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pain in the right hand. There's someone I'm seeing pain here very severe pain you even cry who is that person it's time for you to rejoice pain severe pain is like a shock in your right hand who is that person pain no 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 check yourself please check yourself and if act on it come on watch this could you do this before could you do this before watch a miracle happen could you do this before stamp it stamp it Pastor Stanley just prayed for him. Hallelujah. The Lord perfect you in the name of Jesus Christ. How many of you are celebrating what God is doing in this place? The hand. 
the Lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand. Please, when we call your case, just run out quickly. You are the one. Good evening. Thank you. Where is the pain in your right hand? How long has it been? It's up to five years. Now. Up to five years. What's wrong with it? What happened? Can you turn it round, up and down? Hold on. Can you do that before? Yes, but no. But you, you feel pain. Yes. All right, watch what will happen to you right now. You believe that? <laughs> it is such fun to see, such fun to see. Say can lose. Hallelujah. Look at me. I come in a name that is above every other name. And we challenge this devil. It goes. Look at me. I want you to wind it as fast as you can. Go ahead, don't think about it. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at me. Sister, what happened to you? Could you do this before? Could you do this before? In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Ghost. What's wrong with her? What is this? All right, I'm going to pray for you. Does it pain you? Yes. Does it pain you? Yes. The pain will stop. He is able more than able Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns me today. He is able. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, that devil of darkness, be gone. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, bring this lady. Just bring her. For God wants to use you and make a mighty woman of faith. I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched. But she matched something that is demonic. That's what is happening to her. Jesus, do this for your glory. Do this for your glory. I set you free. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. I declare you free right now. Shalom. What's wrong? You dislocated your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord your healer. I send power of the Holy Ghost. I send my word and heal your disease. I am the Lord. Everyone who brought a sick person, you are a guest. Please come and line up quickly. You brought a sick person. You brought a sick person. Please just pick up. God is doing some. You brought a sick person. Now is the time. Please come out. Let's save time. You brought a sick person. Outside, you brought an invited guest who is sick. Please come quickly. Bring them to the front. What's wrong with you? Please 
technical help us. Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pains in my chest. Pains. I feel pains. You believe in Jesus Christ? You believe he will set you free? Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest. One of the washers. Go! For it's a demonic oppression. You will rise up totally. Fine. Come. Come. You're welcome. Come. What's wrong with you, madam? What? Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. I think we should employ some medical people. Who is studying? You are a serious medical student or you are a doctor? Eh? No, we have doctors, sir. Please come quickly, quickly. Appreciate him. Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. What is schizophrenia, sir? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric condition. Okay. That is characterized by hallucinations. You hear voices. You begin to see things that don't exist. Ah, oh, so it's like madness. Yes. Like a psychosomatic yes. condition. You'll be free right now. Look at me, my dear. You believe that? Because devils, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free. Huh, my dear, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Can you look at me? Can you shout Jesus? Shout it as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now, in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil of schizophrenia. Go in the name of Jesus. Who who brought her? What happens to her? I mean, anytime the thing is just like an attack. Okay. Okay. It's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. It's going to leave her forever. Alright? She sees things that are not there. Yes, sir. Alright? Yes, sir. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes. Is that true? Yes. In the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes, That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. One more time, just do what I'm asking you to do now. Run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ, totally free, totally free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, sir. Just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. You just minister. We have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? There's this is a headache I've been having headache. for over a year now, yes. And it keeps making me present. Go! In the name of Jesus. Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now! In the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus. We totally hope. In the name of Jesus, they pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. All right, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people, quickly. Oh, oh.
Now listen to me. Listen. While you are standing there, I'd like you to be praying. Say, Lord, as these hands come upon me, an end comes to it. Don't go back with your sickness. Those in the congregation be connecting. Some of you will be receiving the healing anointing. In the name of Jesus. Go by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus.
Everyone inside and outside. If you know anybody in your family, listen, who is not feeling fine, or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying, whether it's HIV or cancer, I like you to be connecting. Are you listening? The worshipers are they, they are worshiping. It's not just for the formality of it, they are creating an atmosphere. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? So I want you to connect. Are you listening to me? I want you to connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah.
see me now? Can you see me now? Please hold this. Help me with a handkerchief, please. Can you see? Touch this. Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. Of, I know there are many people. Just go back to your seat. But all of you who came out, the five of you, all of you come and hold your hands together. All of you hold your hands together, five of you. But I'm going to pray for everybody. Look at me. The power of God will touch you. I sense a strong anointing. Are you listening to me? A strong anointing. Lord, let it move across right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Randa cross to croto bashigeteba. Randa pros restoration for your family. Great restoration in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. No, no, no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith. Because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates. Bring this lady. Ah. I see a lot of demonic things. Come out of this family now. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of bondage. 
Lift your hands, everybody. Projects that are not completed by your family members. That devil of delay is a spirit. Hear me. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot at the count of three the power of God as he's hitting you is touching your family members one two three like rain oh God like rain oh God every spirit of today go 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 I command God to be open break through in the name of the spirit everyone under the sound of my voice let the doors of destiny be open in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah now if you are a student here I'd like you to shout amen you will know why you are shouting amen now because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him and he was ten times suddenly his, his intelligent creation his, his capacity listen friends I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploits in your academics listen and if you are in hundred level happy are you In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold on, leave her. Don't touch her. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. The contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the spirit. Tap that lady. Just tap her. Come. All of them, no, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your by himself. He will pick you from your seat, no matter how far you are. He will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them, leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, leave that girl. She will come out by them by herself. If it's the Holy Ghost, he will bring her to the front. You will come out by the Holy Ghost to the front by yourself. It's the compelling power of the Holy Ghost and the castle in the spirit of God. There's one more person. There's one more person. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. Sister, 
Father, you come out by the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. God will do a thorough work. Listen, I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now in the name of Jesus. Be free. I set you free now sister I set you free because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit and I hear what she's saying the Lord is setting your family free in the name that is above all names for after the count of five victory will be established that's what the Lord tells me one two Three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. For God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi's sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming. You just go and tell him. Are you listening to me? And for you, look at me. This is an evil spirit. Now be free. Now. Now. This is an evil spirit. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you listening to me? Your family, can me come. Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere. In Nigeria, in UK, or Canada. God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. Lord, let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now, Kemi, for you, look at me. It's a restorative breakthrough God is bringing. What you are entering now, you, would have, you are supposed to have entered it since. But the Lord is restoring to you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power and the influence of the Spirit. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? The guy that came. Come. me there are three breakthroughs god is giving you do you understand one i will not talk about it but you know what i'm talking about the second is in the area of your business and that restoration is going to come through wisdom and knowledge are you listening to me wisdom and knowledge but look at me god wants your heart like never before do you understand 
business books can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Give him an impartation, oh God. Let him know he met the king of kings. Strong impartation. In the name of Jesus. I command freedom for you. I command breakthrough for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come. You came from a university campus. Not Zaria. Where are you? You came from a university camp. Not Ebi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus. Not Ebu. Who is that person? Please. Please come my brother. Come quickly. Come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart. Like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But you don't worry. Is that true? To prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many... Please, technical, help us. So, uh, I've been looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life... Look is at me, my brother. You, are, you just started ministry or something like that. Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will be able to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer let it fall on you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where is the gentleman come from where foot mina mina again how many of you know that God is doing something in mina hold my hands my brother you came you will catch a fire look at me look at me you came with an hung with a hunger God will not leave you just lift one hand up you will feel literal fire coming upon this hand and it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the name of the Lord Jesus, that strong fire upon you, it flows from your hand, from your hand to every part of your body. And look at me, there is the spirit of leadership upon you. You are going back with a strong spirit of leadership. Are you listening to me? I'm hearing the name Rebecca. Sorry, we're out of time. We'll round up now. Rebecca. Rebecca. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Look at me. You are a student? No. Where are you? I'm in secondary school. You are in secondary school? Yes, sir. Will you be available if God uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school? Yes, sir. What school is that? Jamaa Secondary School. Jamaa Secondary School. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Say after me, Jesus, I'm available. Like Catherine Kuhlman, let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? ABU. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. See, it's like fire 
in your tummy is that of the spirit you will never recover from it never never in the name of Jesus foot me now okay why did you delay we have to hurry up please did you bring your prayer request all right quickly quickly your prayer request outside make sure your prayer request if you are outside please write it quickly and pass it just stay where you are to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you foot me now uh, but you need to dedicate time for God uh, you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the word there's no other way to grow hmm? does it make sense to you what I'm saying but you came because you trust God to put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in you. In the name of Jesus. That you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer request, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly. Outside, even if you are just coming, wherever you are, please get a paper. Help one another with papers, please. Hallelujah. Please, quick, 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 quick. You should have written this before now, but write it quickly. Please. Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. 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 Many of you don't know the value of an open door. lady close to Jessica. Come. Yes, you. Come. My dear, you standing. You believe God can use you in a mighty way. You want him to use you. Lift your hands where you are. Lord, release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used. The Lord is showing me visions. I see two eyes being put upon you eyes being put upon you. Lord, I pray that you begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today. In the name of Jesus. My dear, God wants you. You believe that? And he wants you. This is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you. They don't even know where they are going. Focus on Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? You need him first. Ladies, what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus. If you know how to love and relate with Jesus, a man will become an asset to your life. Are you listening to me? Hold on. We'll soon pray that prayer, that special prayer to send away some people out of your life and bring the people God has destined. Do you like that kind of prayer? But you must be willing and obedient. Sister, look at me. You want me to pray that God will anoint you? You want to pray? good friends, an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory, but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. 
Jesus, please do something in her life, I pray. Please, give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Steve Strings, please, can you come up and sing There Is None Like You to your guitar? Hallelujah. While you bring the prayer request, Steve Strings will sing There Is None Like You. I just sense that that's what we need. Do we have the prayer request? Please, quickly. Quickly. If, let's, let's have it, please. Pour it here quickly, quickly. All right, there's... there's if you've not written, just write. We'll give you one minute quickly. This is not a ritual. God answers prayers, I'm telling you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search to all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. There's none like Jesus. There is none like you. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it. Please, everybody stand up. Jesus is calling many people tonight. Listen to me. Many of you have heard me preach. You've seen the miracles. There are many of you standing outside. And the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me. All ye that are weary and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Hallelujah. For many of you, you have been running away from God. Or you have been born again, but it's one leg inside. One leg outside. No one condemns you, but Jesus is calling you today. You came with your friend, but I like you. Don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. There are many ways. He said, I am the truth. Hallelujah. I'm going to count one to ten. I like you to leave your seat and run out. At that count of, don't be ashamed. The Lord is talking to you. Many of you from the time I began to preach, you have come to the end of the road. As I count, as I begin to count one to ten, I like you to run and come out. One, two, leave your seat and run inside and outside. Three, four, run out. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Five, outside. God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Run out and come. Ushers, help them. Ushers, help them. Six. Leave your seat. Forget about your friend. No other name. Forget about whoever you came with. Like the name. We're waiting for you. Seven. The name. Come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Don't let your brother make you sit back there. There is a better life. There's a higher life. There's a greater life in Christ Jesus. Better than what you have experienced. In eternity and in his way. No one Jesus is still calling. Jesus is still calling. No other name. We have two more counts. Outside. Jesus is still speaking to a few people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Leave your friend. Leave your relatives. Go on and come here. We are waiting for the last person. We are waiting for the last person. Like the name of Jesus. Ten. Hallelujah. Just say, dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you, please help me, forgive me for my sins, make me a new creature, wash me with your blood, 
make me clean. I receive salvation in the name of Jesus. From today, I receive power to live a holy life in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. Blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that has held them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on, just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you'll begin every time we get people born again the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings once you get filled with the holy spirit you march straight to prayer band for one month hallelujah you pray for one month after that time you'll be strong enough we want our fruits to abide hallelujah i bless you with the blessings of the lord whatever has held you down it leaves you in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah let this be a new life for you please get up and follow the ushers please celebrate this harvest just follow the ushers don't worry you will come back follow the ushers quickly hallelujah now very quickly please look up we, are, we don't have time pastor Jax is going to speak just in a few seconds and release upon us the spirit of soul winning are you listening to me everyone must become a soul winner hallelujah sir hallelujah because God is going to be giving some of us a new heart it starts with your heart a compassionate heart if you are willing and ready for this the Lord will visit you with it some of you will literally feel like fire on your feet that's what I'm sensing right now a fire will come upon some of you, your feet. Thank you, blessed Lord. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Up your hands lift up your hands as we pray blessed father abba father we pray in the name of jesus i ask that god you release from heaven you release a fire from heaven lord you release a fire upon your people from heaven i ask in the name of jesus let there be a visitation let the presence of god come upon you let the fire of God come upon you. A passion for souls. In the name of Jesus, let fresh fire, let fresh fire be released upon your heart. Your heart begins to burn for souls and pants for it. You will not find rest. You will not find rest. In the name of Jesus, your tongue, the fire of God comes upon your tongue. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of God comes upon your feet. The Holy Spirit will lead you to, to, to speak the word, to speak the gospel, the angels of salvation. Lord, we pray that we release in the name of Jesus the four corners of this place. Let them be released. Let the oil and the mantle of evangelism be released. We pray. Lord, I pray that you grant your people vision for souls, the hunger for souls, for souls. Jesus! 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 Aprendo siba, rieto mi anta, in tus limante, risuminta, rionte, itapila, dominante, e crucigrate, rista minta, dumerete, e ropa suba la galapagata. Lord, I pray that God, this fire will burn continually, we pray. To burn continually, Lord. We pray in their hearts. Our hearts will be on fire. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of evangelism. That's the spirit of evangelism. Now, Bishop is going to pray. I pray this will fall strong on people. The spirit of prayer. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Lord, the spirit of grace and supplication rest in the house in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit and the glory of the altar of the Lord rest upon your heart. Let your heart be yours for His presence. Let the Lord be faithful for your family. Well, they will come to the top and set your family to the goal. Well, they will come and deliver. And the people of God from the heart and the mouth of the enemy. For the Lord found you and loved you and protected you. Men and women of God, in the name of Jesus, may the authority of God rest upon your hands that you will speak for Him. 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 your hands here quickly if you dropped any prayer request here I'd like you to know it will be answered Lord we pray stretch your hands and say Lord go ahead and let's pray Lord do mighty things solve problems bring impossible miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus 
as we make contact with this request in the name of the Lord Jesus prophetically wipe the tears of many in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Rakata prokoto prokoto baladaba. Rakata prakata 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 baladaba. Rakata prakata 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 baladaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Every prayer point here, let it be met. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release supernatural miracles for the sake of your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands. I want to prophesy. This is the final thing I will go. Please, if you came here, now is the time for you to receive something. Please, don't go back the same. Hallelujah. Listen. See, the apostolic anointing is not just talk. Are you listening to me? The apostolic anointing is an office. Are you, are you listening to me? It's an office. It's not just apostle. This, no, 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 no. It's an office. No man works. The Bible says he gave unto some apostles. It's a position of authority. Are you listening to me? It's an office that is recognized in the spirit. It's, an elect, it's not an issue of prayer and fasting. It's an office. God gives us this office to open up doors for others. It's an election by grace. And if you believe it tonight, you will step into a level of blessing. Lift your hands. Lord, if I be a servant of God, truly called into this apostolic office, my God, confirm this anointing upon me. Once again, I invoke the anointing that was given upon me when Jesus appeared to me. My God and my King, let there be a performance doors be open doors be open doors be open doors be open I challenge thrones I challenge dominions I challenge offices I stand in the anointing of this office I compel every closed door over your life over your academics delay in marriage I release you I call your partner to come to you in the name of Jesus I pray I pray that the favor of God for he has granted unto me by grace my God and my King I see it like water flowing from the ground. Let the favor of God sweep. Let it sweep across this congregation. Outside, I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. If you can hear my voice, receive favor. Receive favor. In your academic favor. In your finances favor. In your relationship favor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy speed upon your life and that of your family members in the name of Jesus. Before the next miracle service, I prophesy run with the spirit of Elijah, supernatural accomplishment, exploit by the power of the Holy Ghost. Exploit, exploit, exploit. Hallelujah. I pray for every project, whether in your life or your family, building project, capital project, businesses, in the name of Jesus, God of heaven, the one who is at work in this place, I invoke by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be grace for completion receive it receive it outside receive it outside receive it i pray for your academics in the name 
that is above all names i want to release it upon you and if you will believe i release five points in the name of jesus i release it i release it i release first class in the name of the lord jesus supernatural intelligence every dull mind i command you be productive be intelligent every cause you cannot understand go back and challenge it now in the name of the lord hallelujah i pray against habit masturbation pornography whatever it is if it's a habit that is not of god this moment you have prayed you have fasted you have done everything you know to do but i come under the anointing in this office i command be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray all those who are trusting god for life partners and for marriage listen please if you are not trusting god better put your hand we are not playing here we are very very serious if you are trusting god for i don't mean people coming around first and foremost any guy roaming around your life just to mess up your life i pray that tonight god will open your eyes in the name of jesus may god expose destiny destroy us this night may god connect you with the will of god for your life i command supernatural marriages for you and your loved ones in the name of jesus i command any kind of terminal disease and i see this the lord is showing me ladies many diseases infection whatever it is i cause it now to his root in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah i pray for your finances my god and my king if your word is true between now and the next miracle service if it is the god of heaven we serve you will receive a call if it is a god if it is god that we serve may you receive a call that will shock you i prophesy it i program your spirit to receive it in the name of jesus i hear a call it's a call it's a call that's what god told me it's a supernatural call receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah many of you who have been confused about your life especially men receive grace to sit down and be established in the name of jesus no more confusion the reason why you were born listen to me the reason why you were born between now and the next two weeks everyone here who does not know you are just roaming around the surface of the earth escorting men if god be god may the reason why you were born be revealed to you in dreams in visions by prophetic encounters by the revelation of the word in the name of jesus hallelujah finally i pray for you lift your hands there are certain anointings that god has put upon this house are you listening to me number one the presence of god i don't idolize this but it's true number two the favor of god the wisdom of god financial prosperity are you listening to me and such as we have my god and my king may it be released upon you now favor wisdom the presence of god the power of god the miraculous i activate the gift of the spirit now all across the building the gift of the spirit receive it gift of healing faith prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues i activate your spirit man visions visions i call for fivefold ministry fivefold offices 
let the apostolic arise let the prophetic arise let the evangelistic arise let the pastoral arise let teaching graces arise ba ta 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 ra ba 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 ko to posia upon ladies strange order of the prophetic strange order of the prophetic strange order strange order grace to see grace to hear grace to move in power hallelujah hallelujah we're rounding up please listen to me in closing all of you hear me inside and outside please listen we're training people to be men and women of character are you listening to me not just anointing it's not enough to have power those who are students you must have character this is the year you will demonstrate the character of the spirit be disciplined be dedicated you can't be flying around every party cannot be it hallelujah your christianity must bear fruit and everyone must witness it hallelujah so as you leave this place go and call all those people that cause you to walk in unrighteousness and let them know you have begun a new walk with god i'm telling you do it go and delete every ungodly song in your phone break all those cities and kick it out of your house you are either a christian or you are not hallelujah you are either a christian or you are not say i'm a man or a woman of character yes the character of the spirit must be at work in your life your conversation you cannot be speaking as if you are not born again and then when you come to church you say hallelujah no you must speak like a christian are you listening to me say amen, amen. inside and outside say amen. amen you must speak like a christian hallelujah you must act like a christian act like jesus is lord of your life anything cannot be it be disciplined you are a leader and be humble say i receive grace for humility if you are an arrogant person in this place i set you free from that spirit of arrogance be humble listen make sure by love you serve people are you listening to me the greater one in the kingdom gone are the days of all these men of god ah protocol for me uh -uh. the greater one is the one who can kneel down and serve are you listening to me take away that wrong mindset of ministry that has been given to people oh you are the woman of god you are the man of god bend down let your work speak for you let to wash the feet of others consider others better than yourself are you listening to me say i'm a christian if you are coming here for the first time let me prophesy into your life please leave your seat and come out inside and outside appreciate them very quickly please come out here quickly come out here quickly please clap for them they are coming ushers lead them to come to the front you are welcome give them a koinonia welcome we'll soon be out of this place now hallelujah quickly quickly thank you jesus come on koinonia will you appreciate them Hallelujah. 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 Please keep coming. We'll pray for you. I want to thank every one of you for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. Especially for many of you who came all the way. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. We receive you. Hallelujah. We are happy. We are proud of you. We want to pray for you. That this will be the beginning of unusual hunger for God. That this will be the beginning of passion for the things of the spirit and that this will be the beginning of an unlimited life of breakthrough in the name of jesus saints of god stretch your hands towards them as we pray we are praying for you may the lord bless you we pray that god will make you better than you are in the name of jesus for those of you who have been healed and touched i pray that your miracle will remain